just a glorious night here in Perth. Today's high 26 degrees. Glenn Jakovic has won the toss. Left to right will go the West Coast Eagles. There's the bounce. You saw the weather. Take my word for it. It's picture postcard perfect. Here's Morrison running at the ball in the opposite direction. A chance for Barty. Across it comes though to Reed. Reed bombs it down towards half forward from behind Eccles to his own advantage. Follows up. Well played. Kicks it towards midfield. McLeod nicely taken. Hand passes out. White Costa gets rid of the umpire. Bad day for umpires today. Good one through the centre square. Probing kick inside the 50. McIntosh goes back and takes the mark. It's been very important to uh, win it out of the centre tonight because the whack is a lot shorter than most grounds, so the side who gets first use of it into their forwards is going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition back line. Gardner towards Fletcher. Loose ball at the back. Jones worked off it nicely by Ellen. Picked up by Smart. Smothered by Fletcher. And it ricochets across the boundary line. Dennis, the Eagles bench. Darren Glass, Chris Lewis, Andrew Williams, Ryan Turnbull. And the centre wicket area very, very hard here. Sean Wren is starting on the bench for the Crows. I think that may be the reason. Very slippery in the middle of the ground. Good evening, Bowen. Gardner over the top. Clark, Bickley. Breaks away. Kicks inside the 50. Jakovic is there. Robin with him. Fell in front. McGregor across to Jarman. Fairy tale start. No, just wide. Well, we saw Mark Bickley at the back of the throw in there, and uh, the Eagles have really got to uh, pick up in that area. You can't afford to have a player sitting at the back of a pack from a throw in all on his own. That was just bad marking up by the Eagles players. Metropolis to McIntosh. Been a while since the West Coast Eagles have won in Perth as well. McIntosh towards midfield. Braun, Matera. Across the pitch is ill-directed, though. Followed that kick perfectly. Allen took the mark in defence. He's at centre-half back. Shane Allen comes across the ground. It hangs a long time in the air. Clark, oh, he marked it, surely. Goes again. Well played, Matty Clark. Gets the hand pass away. Good one. Down towards half forward. Jakovic worked off his man. Crumbed by Reed. Jarman, slick kick away. Smothered there by McIntosh. Some indecision. Stolen down by McLeod. McLeod runs to 40. Pulls it back, getting a fingertip to it. Metropolis. And he knocks it across the line. Well, McLeod beat two of them. Well, a bit of lack of communication there by uh, Ashley McIntosh and David Wurupunda. And Wurupunda has picked up Andrew McLeod. So that's going to be an interesting clash tonight. We'll have a big bearing on the outcome of this game. Metropolis taking his time this time. Adelaide by two points. Reed short to the pocket. Matera up ahead. Offers the short lead. He clears him with a kick. Jones goes up. Knocked away by Ellen. Matera came back to the pack though. Still Matera. Well played. Rentor. Matera. Great evasion. Feeds the hand pass back towards the middle. Strong tackle by Smart. Affected the kick. Morrison got it on the way down. This is Jones. Hard against the boundary line. Pulls it back. And in front is White. Mitchell White has marked about 40 metres out, angle of about 45 degrees. Well, good play by young Rowan Jones, rather than continuing around the boundary, uh, just centering the ball, and you always want to be bringing it back in to give your forwards the best possible shot on goal. That's what young Rowan Jones has done. Only played 16 games last year for a total of 19 so far. Right behind this kick. You be the goal umpire at home. Well done. Well, a much better start by the West Coast Eagles this week. And it's going to be very important for both these sides. They're both desperate. An Adelaide side with uh, three losses in a row. And uh, when you've got the backs to the wall, that's when a side can be at its most dangerous. And, uh, of course, they've travelled over here to the West. So the West Coast Eagles want to make it as uncomfortable as possible for Adelaide. And that's the best ways on the scoreboard. Real quality inside the centre square. Clark, Jarman, Bickley, Rusciuto for the Crows. Gardner, Matera, Cousins and Banfield for the Eagles. Banfield gets a fist on this one at the second attempt. Wurrapunda coming through, knocks it down towards half forward. This is Fletcher against the flow, pulls it back towards half forward. Knocked down in front by White to Rintoul. 45 metres out towards the full forward pocket goes the kick. Not his intention. Out of bounds on the fall. Dan, I'll give you the Adelaide bench now. Robert Shirley, Matthew Connell, Brett Burton and Sean Wren starting on the bench, easing into the game. Sounded like five, Barrow. This is a good one. 
Chips it in short. Missed by Hart. Now he's got a problem. Well, he did pretty well in a tight situation, improvising, but only as far as Peter Matera. He's 60 metres out, his centre and kick waiting behind. The mark is taken by Beckley, plays on immediately to Goodwin. Feeds it back towards the corridor. This is Eccles. Eccles from centre half back. Spot smart, good play, smarts away. Bearing down is Reed, but not in time, and that's brilliantly finished. Ryan's Robran. About 40 metres out directly in front. Nice footy by the Crows, running it out of defence after that improvisation by Sean Hart in defence. Well, we mentioned before the game the running ability of Nigel Smart. And Peter Matsura, if he's playing on him, is going to have to just close up a little bit tightly. And same too with Glenn Jakovic, Jakovic and Matthew Robram. Robram's going to lead up all the time. He will cause Glenn Jakovic a lot of trouble. Jakovic prefers it man on man. Robram gets the goal. The pleasing thing about that uh, after Robin kicked the goal is seeing all the Adelaide players run around and uh, give him a, a bit of a pat on the back. And that shows a, a true indication that they're switched on. We saw the ball quickly moved out of defence by the Crows after they made a few little mistakes there earlier on. So both sides seem to be pretty switched on at the moment. Fraser Gehrig uh, lining up on the wing. He's playing on Nigel Smart. And Philip Reid is now picking up Andrew McLeod. So some change has been made. Rose on top by two points, bounce back in the middle. Clark tries to hook it down behind. Matura Sock is off the ground, kicking in danger. Don't often see that. Free kick to Bickley. Good to see it enforced. Mark Bickley in and under. There's no other way. He kicks down towards half four. Jakovic from behind. A timely leap. This is Vardy. Likes his chances. He's online now with a hand pass. Not all that good. Comes back to him. He kicks a goal. Bit lucky, but a good one. having a bit of a chat to Daniel Metropolis down there. He seems to be uh, a little bit unhappy with, uh, with something that's happened. But uh, Peter Vardy being brought into the side. He's a real opportunist. As we said, he averages just under two goals a game. And that's what Gary is be looking forward, forward to. So, so far, Eagles players have just got to start manning up. Well, somebody give Daniel Metropolis a whistle. He's not impressed down there. Very strong on the fact that he did touch the ball. Clark up very early. Gardner missed it. Clark roving to Gardner. Finishes up with the footy. It's wrenched off him by Matera. The umpire wants it. Not quite sure whether Gary Ayers was watching the game last week in St Kilda, but they're using the same tactics. They've just got a few players in the square. All the other players are basically playing up around the half-forward line, so they're leaving a lot of space for their players to be able to run into in their forward line. Jarman looking alert. Comes out and finds Rusciuto. Mark Rusciuto kicks from inside the centre square. Low stabbing kick getting across as Reed. Sensing the danger, cutting off the lead. Now he's away. Long kick. Two on one situation. Fletcher will need to go. Needed to keep his feet too. As a result, they've got a problem. But they finished up OK for the West Coast Eagles. Despite the efforts there of Goodwin. Across the line it went. Probably the wrong decision by Philip Reid. Two on one. And uh, kicking to one of the smallest players in his side. And Chad Fletcher. So you've really got to be looking for your taller players when you're kicking out of defence. Unless your smaller players on his own. Clark did well. Got it down to Rashida, But now he's caught holding the ball. Unfortunately for Rue. One arm was pinned. Frustrating feeling that. Away comes Cousins. Kicks it down towards half for the two number sevens battle. Smart knocked it away from Gehrig. Spinning out of trouble. Morrison kept his head pretty well. In trouble. Braun slung. Ellen slipped over. As a result, Fraser Gehrig kicks it down towards full court. Scotty at the second. Third attempt. And the mark is paid. And now Eccles wants a whistle. use of the ball by the Eagles down through the centre of the field there. Seemed a lot better. There. He had a, there's a lot more players offering assistance. And as we said, it's a shorter ground than the whack of ground. You don't want to be playing out around the wings. So much quicker to be heading down the, the middle. And Scotty Cummings be looking for some early goals. Get his confidence up. Only nine goals so far this season for Scotty. Directly in front. Should kick it. Does kick it. viewers around Australia to the WACA ground in Perth. Saturday night football. Here's Braun. 
Gets the hand pass away to Gehrig. Nicely done. Eagles attacking. Purapunda kicking inside the 50. And the mark is taken by Scott Cummings. A chance to put his second goal in the space of a minute. The story from the WACA ground. They're going goal for goal. Mitchell White, Scott Cummings, one apiece. And for Adelaide, who lost the toss, but the breeze not a factor on a balmy night in Perth. They've seen Robran and Vardy kick their goals. Well, Scottish Cummings is a much better forward when he's leading up. If he wants to stand there and uh, go man on man all night, it uh, certainly plays into the, the defensive hand. So we've seen him already come up the ground. So that's good signs for the Eagles. Cummings from just inside the 50, tugs it way left. Behind. But originally that play started with Fraser Gehrig. He used his strength to palm off a couple of players. And uh, just back his own judgment, he's the strongest player in the West Coast Eagles in terms of the gym work. Point the difference. Edwards wants to go and does to the pocket. Sets it up for Clark on the outer side, drifting in. Living in Brisbane, playing for the Crows at the moment. Not a good recipe. Mitchell White, clever mark. Good use of the body early. Goes across the ground, element of danger here. Reed takes the mark though inside the centre square, comes back to Jakovic. Jakovic drives it towards the outer side wing. Michael Gardner's, got it. Michael Gardner's free there, Dennis. He's got it now, nicely done. Good talking. Gardner's away. Unloads inside the 50, big pack at the drop. Stevens from behind, got a fist on it. Philip Matera to Banfield, releasing him on his left foot. He pulls it back. And just missed, I fancy. Bouncing across the face and missing to the right-hand side. But quick thinking by Matera. Saw Banfield away on the left peg, and why not? Matthew Clark, Clark and uh, Michael Gardner just playing, playing off each other at the moment. Clark's probably the very good tap ruckman. Gardner's got uh, pretty good aerobic fitness. Edwards, thumping kick. Clark again the target. Fell behind this time. Plenty of eagles around the ball. Banfield's got it in space from about 80 metres out, sets it up. Cummings! Too much strength there for Stevens. Stevens hasn't played a lot of footy. And Cummings, off to a flying start. He's put at one goal, should have two, really. I get the feeling, Dennis, just uh, just by the, the look of uh, Scotty Cummings tonight. Seems to be a lot more on his game than he has been in the past. He's uh, been a little bit disappointing over the last two weeks. Things haven't been going his way. He's been off the ground in both the last two games. So... Like a lot of players, a, very much a confidence player. Well, he bit at seven last time these sides met round eight last season. And you would think this is a mere formality. Right behind the goals. Through it goes. Eagles lead. And Mark Stevens seems to be the person assigned onto Scotty Cummings tonight. And... He's really going to have to just probably play about four or five metres in front of Cummings just to cut off his leads. So as I said, if Cummings is leading up all the time, the best way is to stand in front of him. And that'll force him not to run as much. That's what you really got to do. And then otherwise that'd end up frustrating Scotty Cummings. So that's the way to go. And just rechecking those centre squares, plenty of quality still there. Gardner, Banfield, Matera and Cousins for the Eagles. The cloud in there now, Jarman and Rusciuto along with Clark. This ball is dug out of the middle, kicked out towards half forward for the Eagles from Gardner's boot, coming through his Fletcher, ran into a dead end, jarred the ball out, goes back, finds it, wobbles a kick down towards the pocket, Cummings in front, tracked across the line by Stevens. Dennis, just coming into this game, Gary Ayres said that Mark Stevens was a big punt to play in this game, coming back from very little football. And now he's in the pole position at uh, full back, so maybe a change. They're talking about making a move there. Well, his problem so far. Clark is up, thumping it towards the boundary. And out it goes. Looking at the two benches, if you look at uh, the, uh, the Adelaide bench, Connell, Burton, Wren and Shirley. Connell's a bit of a, a roving sort of a type of player. Burton's a forward, Wren's a ruckman forward, and Shirley a defensive type player. So they've got all positions covered. A bit of versatility there on the bench for Adelaide. Ten and a half minutes to quarter time. Gardner over the top, down to Matera. A high floating kick. They'll contest right on the kickoff line. Fraser Gehrig came over the top. Taken high, Banfield. Doesn't matter. Advantage is paid. Cummings kicks a goal.
Signs are good for the West Coast Eagles at the moment. They're driving the ball forward at every opportunity. And they just really seem to be on their mark a little bit better tonight. And the players seem to be hitting the ball. They're at the bottom of the packs. And the more numbers you have around the contest, the better chance you're going to have. And that just seems to be the case at the moment. More of the Eagles players are running forward. And Adelaide are just going to have to tighten up that little bit better. What about this start for Scott Cummings then? He's booted three of four. And the West Coast is lead by 12 points. Gardner, in fact, it hit Clark on the head. Rusciuto takes advantage, kicks inside the 50. Welsh jostling down there, knocked away by Metropolis. And that will do the Eagles. It's out of bounds in their back pocket. Boundary throw in about 40 metres out from... The right hand behind post for the Crows. Jakovic, juggled attempt, couldn't control it. Over the ball, Morrison. Bickley sock is off the ground. It ricochets across to Wirrapunda and he's away. Wirrapunda, little chip out wide. It pitches in front of Banfield, bounces obligingly. He controls it pretty well. Wirrapunda's run on. Pressed hard against the line. He kicks it up towards the wing. Mitchell White was in front, manhandled by Hart. And he'll get the free kick. Well, David Wurrapunda, isn't he electrifying? He took the uh, Adelaide defence on. And the best part about it, he backed it up too, Dennis. He kept going. Mitchell White inside the 50. Morrison went late, almost the chest mark. Edwards taken high, surely. Charging out, having a good season. Here's Tyson Edwards. Throws down by 12. Sicalella. Towards half back, this is Costa. Costa kicking it up towards the wing then. Robron coming on a searching lead, takes it on the chest, feeds it across to McLeod, looks downfield and then kicks it very high. Welsh spoilt from behind by Metropolis. It fell in front. McGregor collides with McIntosh. Wirrapunda again gets the hand pass away. Cousins brilliantly spins out of trouble. Left half back, kicks it up towards the wing. Sicalella in the road. He's off immediately. Chip pass back towards half forward. Clark's taking the mark on his chest. Too far out to score. 65 metres from goal. Sets it up. Welsh is the moving target. Metropolis comes again with a defiant fist. Down goes McIntosh. Clattering in there was McGregor. And McIntosh will get the free. You see him release the ball now, Dennis. And uh, comes straight down through the middle to Peter Matera. Trying to spoil from behind Rusciuto. Sicalella bounced off one. Into the grasp of another. Well played Rusciuto. Got the hand pass away to Bickley. Bickley through heavy traffic. 50 metres out, but it's a wayward kick. Slewing away to the right of behind. West Coast Eagles are certainly getting a little bit more efficient tonight with their endeavours into the forward line. Eight times inside their 50. Six scoring shots. It seems Adelaide have identified Welsh as their scoring option. Almost on every occasion trying to give him the ball high, so Metropolis will have his hands full. This is Wurrapunda in the back pocket then. High kick up towards the wing. Jones reaches over the top of Jarman and thumps away. Darren Jarman, game number 200. There's Rowan Jones just starting out on his career. David Wurrapunda had uh, Chad Morrison free there. It's uh, surprising he didn't go to them. Always much better to retain the ball than to kick it on into a man-on-man -man situation. Eagles by 11 points. Clark knocks it wide. Sicalella controls it very well in the grasp. Gets the ball away. Wanders down towards the 50. Takes an Adelaide bounce. Tantalizingly close to the fingertips of Morrison. And goes out. Sean Wren starting on the bench. Surprise in that. Obviously trying to pace him. Introduce him later because they've got the size. They've got the height. Gardner very much a lone hand. He won it down, but straight to Bickley did Gardner. Rusciuto, well, boxing for a kick. Thought too much about it. Didn't keep his eye on the ball. Down goes Braun. Spills out towards the wing. Ellen's in front. Right behind him. Banfield worried him out of it. Banfield's away. Goes with a right boot. Down towards half forward. Matera went back. Fingertips to it. Gearing forced to kick with his right. Down towards the pocket. Cummings booted three across to Matera. Was he out of bounds? Not according to the boundary umpire. Although that is the end result in the opposite pocket. Just the quick movement of the play there by the Eagles. Caught the Adelaide defenders out. Gehrig took Nigel Smart on with his pace. And Smart can uh, pretty good on his feet himself. Smart. Rucks and roves. Grabs it. Boots it back towards right half back. Braun goes after it. Can't keep it in. Exciting start this one. Being played at breakneck pace. 
And some jewels to savour. That's one of them. Gehrig against Smart. This another. Gardner against any one of two. Clark tries to dive on top of the footy. Banfield was in there. This is Eccles. Down he went. Over the top, Fletcher. Rintoul went in. Matera kept his feet brilliantly. Cousins. He'll do that too from 45. Snaps very high. Stevens goes back. He did touch it. Two metres out of behind. Good play by Stevens there. One-on-one -on -one with uh, Scotty Cummings in the square. Didn't have any support. Cousins did have... Morrison or Rintoul inside of him so he, he probably could have passed it to, uh, to Rintoul on his own, he elected to go for a goal <laughs> That's one of those, you know you've touched it you hope the goal umpire saw it or heard something or thinks you're trustworthy. Sigalella goes towards the outer side with the run of the ball out there is Eccles, has a bounce, going down towards right half forward, sets it up inside the 50, brilliantly done by Rapunda came across on the angle, there was the leading forward up behind him Two-handed fist away and it's out of bounds. A good play by David Rupuna coming in there, but Adelaide had two players on their own on the wing and uh, you know, the West Coast Eagles players were OK to go one way, but they've also got a man up when the uh, ball's going back into, into their defence. First Clark, then Robran. Getting in the road, that was Reed. Rupuna again. Digs them in and goes for 10, as they used to say, and chips it out towards half-back. McIntosh missed it. McGregor soccer's off the ground. Good enough. Brilliantly controlled on the half volley. Peter Matera. A bounce at half back and he kicks it up towards the wing. Here comes Fraser Gehrig. Could he keep it in? No, he can't. Boundary throw it. Chad Morrison is the man to pick up tonight's 200th player in Andrew Jarman. And fairly even at the moment. Couple of possessions each. Chad Morrison will really need to keep with Jarman all night. Just under six minutes till quarter time. Eagles lead it by 12. The base of the pack, Sikalella, kicks it down towards half forward. Morrison, close to the line, content to run it across. Jarman right there with him. And the boundary throw. Dennis, some pretty small ruckman at the moment. Drew Banfield's <laughs> taking on Mark Rusciuto on the ruck. This is the second throw in a row. Gardner back across half forward for the Eagles, and Clark is staying with him. That will suit Michael Gardner, I would think, given the fact that he is outnumbered tonight. Ball is out of bounds, but the tempo is very high in this game. Oh. Just saying hello. That's right. Jakovic and McGregor. Now Clark's come down. Gardner forced to come with him. Clark knocks it down. Rashuda getting busy. 70 metres out. Pulls it back inside the 50. Vardy had it bounce off his chest. Morrison to Reed. Looping hand pass. Braun releases Morrison. He's at two and a half back. He kicks towards the outer side. Rintoul on the angle. Got it from Cousins. Standing kick inside the 50. Off the fingertips there of Hart, who leads back in the race, and the boundary line will do him. And out it goes. Chad Rattoul probably had a bit more time there. They had two on one on the outer wing there. He probably could have used Ben Cousins a little bit more rather than just kicking it on. So try and retain the ball. Don't just uh, boot it into the forward line and hope the best. Ellen this time goes up against Jones and wins it down. Thumped it out towards half back, taken by Costa. Busy B. Costa kicks it very high towards the wing. McLeod goes back. Was he held? Doesn't matter. Runs onto the loose ball. He's away, kicking down towards half forward. That's a clever mark. Hardy plays on immediately, giving it back to McLeod, who is running hard. He kicks inside the 50. Welsh again the target. Metropolis again right with him, and he knocks it out of bounds. Yes, it seems that uh, Scott Welsh seems to be their avenue into attack, Dennis. Daniel Metropolis is have to be on his bike all night. Having a good season, Welsh. 11 goals so far. Their leading goal scorer, Jakovic. Hard against the boundary line. Kept it in. Reed, Virapunda. Having a very good opening turn, but this kick, not the equal of some of his earlier good work. It goes out of bounds on the full. His first blemish. Costa wasting no time. Comes to Rusciuto. Mark Rusciuto kicks inside the 50. Gehrig was held at the back, and he'll get a free kick. Paul Matera's on his own if he... Well, he's going the other, other way. Fraser Gehrig breaks away and kicks towards the outer side wing. Fletcher storming up the ground. Bad bounce. Good one. Props. Clark back towards the centre. Matthew Clark uses the ball to good advantage. Jarman's got it, having a good opening term. 70 metres out, Darren Jarman. They can test about five metres out. Metropolis at the back, guess who? We're up on the push in the back, was he? Perhaps in the side. Out of bounds on the full. So good desperation there affecting the kick. I think it was Vardy. 
Yarra forced. Yes, he didn't uh, give away a free kicker. He just pushed him enough in the back to uh, to put David Wurrapunda off his balance a little bit. And very smart play. They're saying in Adelaide, it was the side. It was the side, Chris. Got <laughs> a cloud over this kick. So Peter Barty deep in the pocket. A chance to pull Adelaide closer. They trail by 12 points. Under four minutes till quarter time. Terrific opening to the game. Barty back in the team. Back in the team for just that sort of shot. But on that occasion, this is everything. Adelaide just really want to make sure they can either try and grab another goal back off the Eagles or try and hold them here. Try and go in at quarter time, only down a little tiny bit. The worst thing is uh, the Eagles get another goal, and that'll really dent their confidence. Chad Rimshill, 23 games for the Crows, a premiership player in 97. Breaks away from half back, high floated towards midfield, and the mark is taken by Goodwin. I think the Eagles think that Fletch is very good overhead. <laughs> Hard to explain the kicks to him otherwise. This is smart, nicely done. Sicalella. Like the look of him as he comes in short. Robran back to the youngster who fumbles. I fixed him. Metropolis. Matera to Matera. That was Philip to Peter who boots it down towards half Orton Jones. 60 metres out from goal. Running towards the square is Braun. But the kick won't have the carry, I don't think. As a result, Edwards and Cousins forced to battle. It was Edwards who won the day, but the hand pass untidy. Comes back, battles hard with Banfield. who got a boot to it and put it out of bounds on the full. Just uh, disposes with their skills a couple of those errors by the Adelaide players. McLeod got it from Edwards. Sicalella back to McLeod. McLeod kicking through the centre. Barty good in the hands again. Plays on to the run of Jarman. Jarman kicks inside the 50. Here comes Wells. Hard to stop that. Almost impossible. And Chad Morrison will get cut up if he's going to allow that much room for uh, Andrew Drummond to move in. But Darren Jarman, I should say. Andrew would be happy that I'm calling his brother that. But, uh, He'd be wrapped. I was talking to him this morning. He was saying how proud he was of Darren. Good on you, Andrew. He's started pretty well tonight. But that was much better play by the Crows. And they moved the ball quickly. They had runners there. And, of course, a leading forward. So Welsh. Now tugged it to the left. It's close. Behind. Didn't miss by much. He wasn't sure. The kicker. those that had a fair bit of right to left shape in it and very adjacent to the post just over two minutes till quarter time 27 plays 16 as McIntosh kicks off pretty much a full house at the Wacker Gardner was up Jarman hurriedly towards the pocket and it bounces out of bounds Jarman's just slowly starting to move into the game here he's already had five possessions Currently 19 degrees, clear night, perfect night. Very still. Jankovic tried to round arm it. Gurupunda got it. Braun tackled, must get a free kick. Michael Braun's at centre half back. Goes for distance through the centre square. Off hands after Eccles spilt the mark. Sicolella feeds it back, in trouble Rashuda got it to Hart, comes to Eccles, hit run on, he's forward of the wing now, probing kick down towards the pocket, going back as Wurrapunda, oh, almost the mark, Metropolis heads for the boundary line, but Wurrapunda's been paid the mark, so that being the case, that's a real contender for a mark of the round. Well, Darren Jarman's down in. He's very irate with that pass of Eccles. Jarman was on his own about 30 metres in the clear. If Eccles had to give it to him, Adelaide probably would have had a goal on the board by now. Metropolis, a very good kick coming out, found Cousins. Well, surely he played on. The umpire, very lenient. Here's Fletcher. That was a bit of kick to him. Comes back to Cousins, to Fletcher, to Jakovic. Jakovic, the defensive side of the wing, kicks down towards the 50. Was wide held, not according to the umpire. Had a perfect view on that. McLeod having one of those days. You can hear him muttering in there. Comes across towards Braun, hard against the line. Smothered off the boot, and it goes out of bounds. Let's take a look at that mark again from David Wurrapunda in the back pocket, going back with the flight of the ball. Well, he's just really continuing on with his form. Uh, he's just been in great form all, all year. His running ability has just been great, and uh, of course that's uh, just topped it off with a fantastic mark. 
Forget the skill. What about the courage? Here's Jones, hard against the boundary line. To the kickoff line. Cummings kept his feet for a shootout. Unkind bounce. That's holding the ball, surely. Scotty tried to strong arm his way through. Rusciuto squares up. Umpire Hallett goes across. Rusciuto will get the free kick in the back pocket. Great play there by Mark Rusciuto. He, uh, he was almost caught out then. The ball was nearly turned around and uh, he didn't give up. And that's just a sign of a, of a true, uh, true person who wants to fight on in any situation. Mintil not happy, but Stevens had to get a free. Mintil not going at the ball. Yeah, so many players in that situation that Rashido found himself in feel sorry for themselves with an unkind bounce, but he simply kept on working. The kick comes down towards half forward. It came from Stevens there, but it was going to be 50 as I thought. So Rintoul, we saw him steaming, was taken back, and that kick stands for North. Dying seconds, opening term. 11 points, Stevens kicks inside the 50, the Crows needing a mark here, it falls forward of the pack, down goes McGregor, Reed over the top, slapped out of there by Fletcher, taken by Jakovic across to Banfield, 4 seconds to go, doubtful if either side can score from here, Scotty comes on a long lead, he's got it on the wing, siren sounds, the crowd would love him to go for goal, and he is a crowd pleaser of nothing else, and he gets onto the spiral, it runs on, but that's the end of the action. And that man's had a very good opening. Three goals in the first quarter. Could have been four. Probably the second easiest shot he had. He missed. And he's been simply superb in the defensive half. David Wirapunda taking on, I think, the attack as far as the Fremantle, or rather the uh, Adelaide Crows are concerned. to very good effect. Ten disposals. Thanks, Chris. Yes. Two marks. One of them we saw in replay. A terrific mark from David Wirapunda. Chad Rintoul still ruining his misfortune, but if the next three terms are as good as that one, I think we'll be happy. Really enjoyed that. We've got the West Coast Eagles on top, but the Crows showing plenty of fight. They trail by 11 points. Start of the second term, 4-3-2-4. Gardner, up they go. Fill up their feet. Closest in was Cousins. Well played. Eludes one alongside the centre circle. Kicks it down towards half forward. Oh, an eagle went down. Nothing doing in terms of a free kick. Philip Matera to Rintoul and Rintoul gets the goal on the run. Well, the quickest way uh, and the best way at the Wacker here, being a shorter ground, is to get the ball out of the centre and just drive it down into your forward line. It doesn't matter how it gets down there because that's just going to put immense pressure on the opposition. And the good thing about the Eagles, and we saw, is that they were attacking the football. Philip Matera and Scotty Cummings both led up at the same time and they had options in, uh, in Rintoul running past, but uh, that's good signs in the opening minutes of the game. And a little bit more defensive work from the Adelaide. start there for the West Coast Eagles. They stretch their lead. They're up by 17 points now. Clark up very early on the way down as Gardner slapped it past him. This is Costa. Well played, Costa. What a good kick though. Inside the 50, it takes a bounce out towards the boundary. Chance here for Robran. Vardy spins out of trouble. Back to goal. Across it comes to Bickley in the grasp. Ball bounces down towards the goal square, taken by Morrison. Morrison gets underneath this one, sends it out towards the boundary. Gierig, well, didn't try all that hard and took it across the line. Not bad. Pretty smart play by Chad Morrison. It came in one way, so send it out the other way because there's probably going to be less Adelaide players out there. Release the pressure. It's come in from, uh, from over this side. That means there's more Adelaide players, so uh, that's the reason why he went, went, went out the opposite way. Jankovic and Robran. It's behind this time, makes no difference. Cousins the first to touch it again, but going nowhere. Virapunda hard against the line, thought about going, but was across. He knows that. So a throw in. And the Crows needing the next goal. Virapunda electrifying in the opening term. Jankovic, Robert, body to body. Virapunda in and under this time. Gets the kick away, gains about 10 metres. It runs across the line once more. There's Matthew Connell still on the bench for Adelaide Denison. You know, for a player who gets a, a lot of the ball, he, uh, he just doesn't seem to be getting as much on-field time as possible. And he's done very well against the West Coast Eagles since switching over to Adelaide from the Eagles. He's had a good, good, uh, good record against them. 
couple of games for the West Coast Eagles. Coming through is Peter Matera, one of best and fairest, I think, in his first season with Adelaide when he went across. Talking about the bench for the Eagles, Lewis Turnbull, Williams and Glass. Lewis and Williams are more forwards. Ryan Turnbull's the backup for Gardner and uh, young Darren Glass will be taken into the back line. So again, they've got some versatility sitting on the bench too. Clark and Gardner go at it again. Clark must get a free kick, surely, if it's going to anyone. He was in front. Well, off the ball, a free kick is going to Bickley. Didn't see what that was for. Bickley about 75 metres out is centering kick. Jankovic in best position. Is that a mark? Welsh tackles into the ground. He's not convinced. And neither is the umpire. We'll have a ball up. Well, the question begs, should have Glenn Jankovic punched in that situation? Ball's come in. He's well, perhaps should have punched. So we've got the bounce. About 30 metres out from the Crows attacking goal. Robert flies high. Bickley going to the ground. Got a hand pass away. Clark left it behind. Here's trouble for the Eagles. Jarman grabs, snaps, and I think he's got it. Wonderful goal. Well, a situation where if you don't play on Jarman, it will cut you apart. And that's exactly what he did. Just too much room on his own. And all the time in the world. So, a good say to Chad Morrison. He's going to find it very hard if he's going to play off Jarman. Clark, McLeod, Rashido and Jarman inside the centre square for the Crows. Gardner along with Cousins, Banfield and Fletcher in for the West Coast Eagles. As Clark goes up and knocks it down, it spills across to Cousins. Lively player in this turn. Braun, good kick. Wonderful finish. Inside the 50, Cummings will line up at his fourth. In fact, three centre bounce down so far this quarter, and Michael Gardner has really got it down to Ben Cousins both time. And if you're a coach sitting up here, you'd want to make sure that you had someone sitting on Cousins every single time because he's really been instrumental in feeding that ball out of the centre. When a pattern like that starts to happen, then you've got to react to it. Scott Cummings, very much here a question of accuracy. Going from 40, we're right behind this kick, and it's gun barrel straight. He's got four. A good player out of the centre. As I said, Gardner here. Quite got it out to, uh, came out to Cousins eventually, and as I said, he's been instrumental in getting out of the centre, Cousins. Averaging about 26 possessions a game this year. So, Adelaide really got to tighten up inside the centre square. 6 3, 3 4. Those trying hard, but they can't bridge the gap at the moment. The Eagles having all the answers. Well, they're going second term, another high bounce. Clark with the run, knocks it down, crashing in his body. Gearing's over the ball. Banfield at close quarters to Fletcher. Fletcher kicking down towards half forward. Was Gearing held? No free kick. It was at White. Doesn't matter. Rintoul gets the hand pass to Cousins. Cousins goes for distance. In front down there and taking a strong mark is Peter Matera. Did the body work early and went back and found the ball. Well, this is dangerous times for the Adelaide Crows players now. The Eagles are slowly starting to rise a little bit in confidence and with the hometown crowd behind them, they can really get themselves a fair way in front. And Adelaide are just going to need to just tighten up a little bit, start to be a little bit more aggressive at the players. They just seem to be uh, taking a little bit too easy on them. And two or three of their players just need to perhaps just stand up and be counted. Peter Matera, point blank range, stretches the lead. Two hundred and three games, or two hundred and four now. Peter Matera, one hundred and eighty-six goals. He's probably one of the form goal-kicking wingmen earlier in his career. Switched to the half-back line and been used a little bit through the middle this year. Dangerous type of a player and good overhead too. So some work to be done now by the Crows just to try and halt this uh, small run on the West Coast Eagles have had these last few minutes. The formation's changed inside the centre square. Morrison and Bickley come in now. 
7-3-3-4. Peter Matera has bitter goals in the past against these crows. Braun, just too high for him. Costa carried forward in the tackle. Play on to the call. Banfield. Good run by Braun. Sweeping hand pass. Brilliantly done. Reed. Fletcher played it brilliantly. They made a very good fist of it. Banfield got it to Philip Matera. Not by design. It was a bit rough in there. But eventually they made it work. Well, Dennis, when you look at things like that and the ball start bouncing off and you can tap it onto plays, you, it starts to be one of those nights where you think nothing uh, or everything's going right. And the Adelaide players are probably wondering what they can do at the moment because the Eagles are just seem to be running in numbers. Good to see that they came in board. They had players inside. Philip Matera. I think he's missed this one. Yeah, wayward kick out to the right. It was quick thinking by Chad Fletcher in that exchange, though. Didn't try and take the ball. Costa coming off. Well, Matty Connell, as I mentioned before, surprised to see him spend so much time because he does get a hell of a lot of the ball and he plays well against the Eagles. So Gary Ayres is obviously bringing him on to get a little bit more run through the centre. Good one. Put it in. Smart comes away with it. Bounces off the chest of Fletcher. In trouble now. Pushed off the kick. Connell tries to spin out of it. Brilliantly done by Rashuda, confronted by Banfield, socket off the ground by Fletcher. It spills across to Jarman, to Smart. Runners outside. Sikalela's got it, going down towards half-forward. Centering kick, intended for Welsh. It was a very good kick. And Welsh is marked directly in front. You'd like him from here. Yes, Welsh has been a handy pickup from North Melbourne. But probably young Chad Fletcher. Had the ball spent when he went to take that mark. Really should have been a mark on the chest for him. And it's bounced free and... Of course, the turnover with the Adelaide players, who are very good runners through the lines, are able to swing that ball very quickly down into the forward line, and Walsh on the lead court, and the trop was out. And Walsh's kick, not very good, so Philip Matera misses at one end, Walsh at the other, two sharp shooters normally, and Jakovic, slightly hobbled, comes off the ground. He's been replaced by young Darren Glass, is making his debut, and I don't think he'd be too overawed about the situation playing with Matthew Robert. He played on Hurd and Grant in the pre-season competition. And just need to make sure that he just plays, just gets into the game a little bit and just sticks around with Robert because he'll take him to the ball. Gardner from behind, didn't touch it. Plenty of crows at the back. Connell, 75 metres out, pulls it back inside the 50, defending down there McIntosh in front. Eccles gets it away. This is Welsh off his step, trying to bend it around. Not the right shape on that one. Out of bounds on the full in the right full forward pocket. The Crows doing a lot of attacking here. They need a reward. Wurrapunda decides to change things. Goes towards the outer side. It's taken there by Rintoul. Coming board to, yeah, sorry, Benson. Coming board to Philip Reddy. Could have there earlier on. Bit, in, bit indecisive. Just outside or inside the... Defensive 50, just outside as it finished up, and the ball ricochets off Hart and goes out of bounds. Not that great for Glenn Jakovic, Den. He's uh, gone off the ground into the rooms to have his leg looked at. Looks like he's either pulled a thigh or a groin muscle. I'll keep you posted. Well, a man who prided himself on never missing early in his career has missed a lot lately. Clark to Eccles, forward of the wing, jams it inside the 50, where a Ponda takes the mark. Too much carry for Vardy, who was in front that time. We're up to getting the ball in front. And when he's behind, he comes out to Banfield. Banfield's at right half back. Chips it up towards the wing. Fletcher. Plenty of hard running from this youngster. Fletcher kicks down towards half forward. One of two could mark. It's Gehrig. Gives it back to the run coming through the centre. Banfield. Eccles got him down. Jarred the ball loose. This is Rusciuto. Got the hand pass away to Jarman. Jarman alongside the centre circle. Tongue out. Gives it across to Robran. Robran from 60 metres. Sets it up long. Welch is going back. Always his ball. It was a wonderful kick. Well, isn't that amazing how quickly the ball can turn around? The Eagles have basically had it all in control. Fraser Geary had led up and taken a nice mark. But he'd given off to the run of, uh, of, of Drew Banfield. Probably doing the right thing, but although he just didn't open up the vision, he uh, had a couple of the Eagle, uh, Adelaide players on the inside of him. And a great tackle, I'm sure it was by Eccles, yep. who stopped the run of Banfield. And, of course, the turnovers now result in Welsh, who Daniel Metropolis had led up trying to read the plate. Welsh had done the right thing and stayed back. I think he's popped this one through. That's a better kick. Goal. Well, it's a two-way deal, isn't it? I mean, Banfield should know he's running into trouble there. He's got the vision, really. Gehrig's got his back to all of that. Banfield calls for the ball. Fraser lays it off. Yeah, just just bad vision by both. Probably uh, peripheral vision there, Dennis. Uh, you know, the, the wrong probably uh, 
the wrong ask by Drew Banfield. He did the right thing trying to do the run, but uh, just the wrong option. And in this, uh, this day and age, they can uh, crucify you in AFL football as Adelaide have done. 7-4, four, 4-5 four, at the Wacker, Saturday night football. Can Adelaide string two together? Gartner goes up, knocks it down. Rusciuto spinning through, Clark got it to Bickley. More run now, Vardy goes down towards the pocket. McIntosh is in front, trouble coming up to meet him. Welsh, well, obviously he doesn't do that too often because he didn't make a very good first of it. In fact, he's come off second best as well. Always the case, Dennis, uh, the lighter you go in into a contest, the more you're going to come out injured. You're far better off going in at 100 miles per hour. You tend to find that uh, you'll come out best. Rob Runt to the back. <laughs> that was brilliantly picked up by Peter Matera, who clears the zone with a high kick back towards the wing. Good one, knocks it down to his own advantage. Pushed in the back, surely. No free kick. Warren, hand passes out wide. Banfield trying to hack it out of mid-air. Knocked towards the boundary line by Ellen. And that will do it. Good fight from players of both teams right there. And then you can really feel the momentum shifting in Adelaide's favour now. They're, they're on the rise, and this is a testing time for the Eagles. They need to dig deep now. New coach, bad start to the season. Competitive, but three losses. So important for their season right here. Clark knocks it down. Cousins almost had it. Rashida working his heart out. Sikalela, still Sikalela down towards half forward. Well, Jarman got in the road, pulled rank when the ball goes across the boundary line. What does Sikalela say? Well, Jarman acknowledges his mistake. Sikalela had the run of the ball. He was headed Goldwood, but, well, Jarman is one of those players who can do uncanny things. And right there, did the unusual. Gardner couldn't control it. Cousins battling. And the ball up. 46 plays, 29. Just over 11 minutes till half time. Bounce taken by Gardner. Bickley missed it. Cousins had it momentarily. Rusciuto taken across the line. Rusciuto 13 possessions so far. Coming off 33 last week. Which incidentally equals his best effort against the Eagles. Round 22-98. We were talking about that victory earlier. 33 possessions on that day as well. Clark knocks it down. Banfield stumble. The hand pass from Jarman. Intercepted by Matera. Plenty of footballing now there. Matera's high kick towards the wing. In front was McGregor. Knocking the ball forward was Gardner. Goodwin dragged down by Gardner. Clark somehow got the ball out of there. McIntosh knocking it around with Jones. Still Jones. He hasn't got the ball. Certainly wasn't in control of it. McIntosh. Ellen against the flow. Goodwin. Well played. Goodwin a little chip pass. Good vision. Got it to Bickley. Bickley to Sikalela. Right on the 50. The youngster. Props. The kick is off target. It wanders down towards the pocket. And I think out of bounds on the full. It was. Good play by both the sides there. Uh, Michael Gardner. Uh, great tackle for a big man. Doing, doing the work probably of a, of a little fella in there. Pretty good down around the uh, ground level is Michael Gardner. Metropolis out of the back pocket then. Jones worked out of it. Will get a free kick, rightly so. Interfered with as he approached that ball. Gardner takes a tumble on the outer side. And Matt Clark can't be bothered picking it up. He's working hard enough. Philip Matera is off. Interesting change. That changes the chemistry. Ryan Turnbull comes on. Very interesting change. He's in a small man for a big man. And... Turn will be picked up by Tyson Edwards, so that's going to be a bit of a mismatch. We'll have to wait and see if Gary Ayres will change that situation. Jones around the outer side. Smart was edged out of it. Gehrig playing his 100th at close quarters to Fletcher. Fletcher had a charge down at Ricochet's back towards the middle. Broad almost sold his teammate into trouble. Advantage is paid. Banfield, who was taken high, kicks it down towards White. Still White going. Rusciuto was in there. White goes to ground, wanted a free. Good decision, I thought. Edwards, he's at left half back. He kicks it very high towards the wing. Gardner in front. Good work by the big man. That's an enthralling duel, Gardner and Clark. But of course, Wren is sitting on the bench, and he's the second part of the Adelaide equation. Well, Edwards just had no one to kick to then, Dennis. None of the Adelaide players were moving up, and perhaps they need to bring Sean Wren on just to give him a better option, or, or Robin's really got to lead up there and give him the op option. Fletcher working hard, kicks it down towards the pocket on the leaders. Cummings. Chad Fletcher, very impressive, getting a lot of the ball, the disposal, not always great, but he's where the ball is. Cummings is proving to be a bit of a handful tonight. 
He's uh, leading much better up the ground as opposed to in previous weeks. That's when he's at his best. Makes it very difficult for the backman. Once he gets in front, a bit like a Tony Lockett, they're big, they're big players, and once they're out in front, very hard to spoil them or to get around them. And he's very, very quick, actually. Tony Lockett was the same, very quick over the 10 or 15 metres. And you only need, you know, two or three steps to be out in front, and it's all over. Scott Cummings kicks from 40, and I think he likes it. He's got five in the first half. Well, young Chad Fletcher, who only played the one game last year, as Dennis has mentioned, has been in the thick of things tonight. And week by week, he's really growing in stature, which is good news. He's a very skillful young player, very good on his left side. If there's probably one floor or one area that you probably can pick him up, is push him onto his right-hand side. But uh, he'll be gaining in confidence. And it's good to see Ken Judge giving him as much time out on the field. Saturday night football from the WACA ground in Perth. And the Eagles, the home team, meeting all the challenges at the moment. Gardner and Clark again hit the ball hard. And Ricochets off Banfield, running hard. Banfield feeds it back. Now Braun's away. Peter Matera forward of the wing. Kicks well inside the 50. Cummings is down there. And he's marked again over Stevens. That time, won it from behind. Ward smiles all around. Well, Dennis, you've really got to go and pat Drew Banfield, pat Drew ba <laughs> pat Drew Banfield on the back there because he had three on one over here on the wing. Turned inboard two, didn't bother coming out on the wing. Turned inboard, he had runners coming on the inside. Found Peter Matera, and just well, I suppose that's what you come to expect from a guy like Drew Banfield. He, he, they call him the war horse because he just does so much work out on the field. He was the first and best in 1996, former number one draft pick, but. That was just great play. Clark's Cummings. now coming off. Cummings going at number six here. I think from memory his career best is eight a few times. He's on career best pace. All clear is given. Six to Scott Cummings. A good return from Scott Cummings so far tonight. And he's only had, uh, well he's had eight kicks. So he's getting a good return. Sean Wren has come onto the field now. He's going to take up the battle with Michael Gardner, who's started to slowly assert himself in the second quarter. And I noticed last week King was jumping into Wren to, to nullify him, so perhaps that's the best way that Michael Gardner can go about that. Well, Sean Hart has gone on to Scott Cummings. And Sean Wren... He's into the ruck now, replacing Matty Clark. Nothing's changed there. Matera must get a free kick taken. High advantage is paid. Braun's away, storming forward. Gets inside the 50. The pace of Hart to good effect there. Knocked it away. Picked up by Jones, though. Back to Turnbull, just recently introduced. The kick not particularly effective. Wanders towards the pocket. Yerig limps away. The two crows lying on the ground. Mitchell White then goes and retrieves the ball. Turns around. That was headed for a goal. Jones, I don't think, quite knew it. <laughs> a Mitchell White broad smile, not at the head. Well, that was one I was going to get, he's thinking, but Jones is marked right between the posts and should have no trouble from here. And they've got problems now, Adelaide. Big problems. Yes, Dennis, it's starting like one of those nights where the Eagles can do no wrong, and then as an opposition play, when that's happening, they're really, start to, really starting to put doubt in the uh, Adelaide players. I'll be wondering what they can do to stop this run on. And it seems nothing can go wrong. Again, getting it out of the centre has been the key. That was a heck of a kick. May have been on line with the post. Jones had to mark it, really. Do you think he was shooting at goals, though, Dennis? No, I don't think so. Mm. But Jones wasn't to know it was going through either. It was, I suppose, with an element of doubt. Ten four plays four five. Adelaide have really got to stop this run on there, Dennis. It's all starting in here, and as we said just after quarter time, players getting a free rein. They're being allowed to run. Neither side trying to close the other down. Peter Matera got it to Braun. Kicks inside the 50. Goodwin was up. Could have been taken high. But right arm just getting over the shoulder from Jones in the tackle. Good one to the run of Smart. Smart kicking it up towards the wing. Peter Matera battling there, almost a clever mark, bounced off his chest. This is Morrison, metres in the clear. 
Stops for a long time and comes across the ground. Turnbull almost the clever mark. Butters up again, Wirrapunda storming through to Fletcher. Back to Wirrapunda. Inside the centre square goes looking for Cummings, who stretches it, bounces off his chest. Smart grabs it. There's a reprieve, pulls it back towards the outer side, albeit a brief one. Glass in his first game to Fletcher. Back inside the 50. Stretching down there was Jones. Taken off him by Goodwin. Got it across to Wren, to Allen. Allen comes out wide and the mark is taken by Vardy. And the Crows need to settle here. Vardy from half back. Short to Allen. 64 plays 29. Just under six and a half minutes to half time. Shane Allen back towards the middle. Goodwin takes it. Breaks away. Kicks from half back. Down towards half forward. Taylor made for Morrison. Well played by Ashley McIntosh there, just holding his player off, giving uh, Morrison an, an easy mark. Rentoul. Fletcher. He's on the wing. Fletcher down towards right half forward. Gardner. So Turnbull. It would seem having a run on the ball, is he? And Gardner on the forward line. Gardner, low trajectory kick intended for coming, showing courage down there in front was a defender. I think it was Robron. This is Cousins, though. Cousins feeds a hand pass to Turnbull. Turnbull 60 metres out. Long kick. Burton goes back. Hasn't touched it yet. I think he's missed it. Didn't touch it, I don't think. Try and bluff him. Nothing doing. Well, it's really one of those situations where everything is going the Eagles' way. And the Adelaide players now just have to start to become a little bit more aggressive they've got to start to man up there's too many eagles players that are running and some of the adelaide players are just doing what they want to do it's a time now when they've just eagles have had too many goals in a row and just man on up and take it easy turnovers dennis in the first quarter the eagles was five to four it's now eagles nine the crows 14. it sort of starts to tell a bit of the story <laughs> well burton Tried to bluff his way out of that, but nothing doing, as I said. 11-4-4-5, so real worrying times now. Wren took a hard fall in the centre. We're a punder charging through after the ball was sent forward by Connell. Jarman gets it across to Rashudo. Rashudo 75 metres out. Sends it deep into attack. Knocked away by Metropolis. Getting in the race, McGregor, and the ball goes out of bounds. Then there's good news down here for the Eagles too. Glenn Jankovic has come out of the rooms. He's on the bench. He doesn't seem to be uh, injured at all. So uh, they should have him in the second half if he's needed. Thanks, Barrett. 41 points the margin. Robron with McIntosh. Here he comes away. All too easy. Kicks it towards the outer side. The big fellow goes after it. Well, two of them. Bounce favoured Turnbull. Too slick for Cousins. Cousins, though, with time and space, kicking down towards half forward, reaching over the top, Burton, missed it. Sikalella shrugs a tackle, nicely done. Chips square across the ground. Ellen running up from full back, kicks it out towards the wing, and that's a good kick to Bickley. Well, he made the man in front earn it, did Glass, coming up hard from half back, crashing into the veteran. But Bickley, eyes only for the footy. Didn't take the mark, was awarded the free. Lobs it inside the 50 once more. Knocked away down there by Metropolis. Fletcher again. Close to the line. Delicate kick. Connell. Unkind bounce. Braun right on the line. In fact, did he go across? And the umpire says he did. Yeah, just the incident a minute ago with Mark Bickley in the mark here. You more or less sort of told as a player, if, if a player's going to take a mark, then you've really got to make him earn it. There's no point just letting him just take it easy. See the incident with Michael Braun, and there's an Eagles official that's very close to the line there. And I'd say he's out. I think the ball went over the line before he kicked it there, Dennis. I don't think there's any doubt about that. So boundary throw in. It's over four minutes to half time. At the WACA ground. First game of the season here. Wren almost over the shoulder of Turnbull as it turned out. Turnbull won it. Slapped at about 25 metres. Ellen in a tight situation. Got a hand pass off. Turnbull. There's a new lease on life. Darting through, picking it up, but he was across the boundary line. Michael Gardner's come off for a bit of a rest, allowing Turnbull to do all the ruck work against Wren, and Philip Matera has come back onto the field. So, and Ken Matty Judge Clark's about to go on Maney too, standing right in front of me, so they're going to press the advantage now. With the height, yep. Well, Turnbull's doing OK, don't worry about that. Battles with Wren, down goes Rusciuto, cleverly done to Connell. Sicalella twisting, turning. 
He has a good presence as he kicks it down towards right half forward. Running onto this one is Bickley. Bickley about 70 metres out. Sets it up long towards full forward. Glass in from the side. Wirapunda in trouble. Concedes a behind. Well, Adelaide has been very, very good around the ground, especially at boundary throw-ins and, and bounce-up. They're certainly getting the ball away there. It's only in through the centre that they're having a problem. But, of course, the centre's the real problem if, uh, you know, the Eagles are getting first touch, but they're going forward early. Metropolis chips to the pocket. This is Cousins. Coming up for his 13th possession. Averaging 25 possessions a game this season. That's up from 23 last year. And 21 in 98. Comes back. That's bad. Metropolis to bad Cousins. Meeting up. Running up the stats now out of the back pocket. Opposite side. We're upon that. <laughs> Did he need to do that? I think, we thought he did. I think he knows that the Olympics are coming up. Dennis, he wants to go on the gymnastics team. <laughs> He's just propelled himself with that one. A little artistic merit in that one as he kicks it up towards half forward. That's a clever mark. Mitchell White in front. He's been pretty well held tonight, Mitchell White. Hasn't had a huge influence on the game. Mitchell White, forward of the wing. Sends it very high down towards Cummings. Almost the one-hander. Appear to be held by the arm. Nothing doing. Philip Matera trying to knock it across to Morrison. Well done by Ellen. Not quite the same poise as Wirapunda at the other end, but the result's the same. Ben Cousins down the back line there, Dennis, to get the ball on one side and then to run completely across the other side and not be manned up. So I think that tells a little bit about the, the mentality of the Adelaide players at the moment. They're just slightly off a little bit, although they've got a few players spare here. All the Eagles have pushed forward. Should have got it to Bickley, but he coughs it up. Mitchell White to Turnbull. Approaching half time. Eagles up by 41 points. Up comes Hart and takes the mark on his chest. Hart goes out wide. Trouble. Bickley. It knocked away by the tireless Chad Rintoul and out of bounds it goes. He have a smile on his face playing against his former teammates and there's nothing better when you're playing against the side that you used to play for and being in front. Probably can have a few more extra words to say out there to him. Turnbull and Wren. So far Wren hasn't left the ground really. Goodwin flew over the back. Well played by Rashudo. Got it to Bickley. Bickley the hurried kick around the outer side. Takes an obliging bounce for this man, McLeod. Haven't seen a lot of him. Comes back towards Eccles. Eccles on the overlap from the wing. Kicks it down towards half forward. Well played by Clark. Missed the target, though. That was Jarman. Wirapunda doesn't give him a second chance. Turnbull, Wirapunda. Well played by Eccles to smother the hand pass. In comes Vardy. Picked up by Braun. Hand passes out wide. Turnbull improvising. Hacks it out of midair. Bickley missed it. Banfield's got it. 14th possession. Comes back to the middle. Rintoul lays it back inside. Braun. Braun inside the centre square. Cummings in front. Hard up too early. Cummings perhaps should have marked that one. Burton throws it on the boot. And finds the boundary line, I think. Yes, he does. The Eagles are just continually putting pressure on the Adelaide players. They've got runners through the middle. They're just attacking the ball. David Wurupunda there just... So much of the ball was glued to his hands. And then we saw Mark Bickley attack it and went straight through him. The Eagles' back line is just killing him, matey, aren't they? There's some good run out of there, led by David Wirupunda. Ran over the top, but straight to Cousins. Matera back to Cousins. Nice look away hand pass, setting it up. Cousins then did well with the time and found Fletcher. A good one-two play there by uh, Peter Matera. He had his back to the forward line of the West Coast Eagles. Now that situation, you just don't want to turn around. If you have a look here, he saw Ben Cousins, and it's just much the better option. Cousins can see Ford, he knows what's in front of him. And how Chad Fletcher found himself 30 metres on his own, about 30 metres out in front of goal, I'll never know. Fletcher coming up for his 16th possession. Kicks from 35. And kicks straight. Well, the problem now for Adelaide is that the Eagles have got their tails up. And they've really just got to try and stop their run on at the moment. Going in at half time, they're going to have to have a good rethink. The thing they need to think about when they go in at half time, there's still two quarters to go. It's about eight goals down, and if they can think about just getting four goals each quarter, they can get back into the game. I know it's a big margin, but it can be done. Thirty-three seconds to half time at the WACA ground. The West Coast Eagles, decisive leaders now, 77 to 30. And the Crows will need to regroup. The bounce coming alongside the centre circle. Ryan Turnbull pinch hitting for 
Michael Garden had a very good effect in the closing minutes of this first half. Wren very conscious of Turnbull. Turnbull outstrengths it. Knocks it down towards half foot. It sits high in the air. Cousins knocks it across to White. White kicks inside the 50. Philip Matera. Well, it's just all one-way traffic. Everything's just going right. The Adelaide players must be wondering what they can do at the moment. It's bad enough travelling over the Nullarbor, but then to uh, be on the receiving end of a performance like this, it's not a happy night. He kicks a goal. There he is, and the Adelaide Mesh Committee just walking past the commentary box, and Daryl Hart there scratching his head, and I don't blame you, Daryl. It's uh, been a very tough first half for the Adelaide Crows, Dennis. Absolutely. Philip Matera, 12 goals for the season. Kicked four against Adelaide last year in round eight. Prior to that, he kicked just the one goal total against the Crows. He's on the board tonight. So the margin is 11 points at quarter time. It's blown out to 53 here at the long break. And we saw some irresistible football from the Eagles in that term. Saw the young Chad Fletcher, 16 possessions for him so far in this half. Half time from the Wacker, 13-5 plays 4-6. Midfield for the Eagles working a treat. Cousin 16 possessions, Banfield 15, Fletcher 15, Braun 14. Coming out of the centre though this time is Mark Bickley. Kicking it down towards half forward. Wurrapunda starts as he finished. Takes a tumbling mark. Well done. I still notice that uh, Chris Lewis is sitting on the bench and probably an ideal time in this situation to get him on the field and get some uh, minutes into his legs because he hasn't had a lot. Interesting and, situation, isn't it? Yeah, well, and the Eagles are, are, are you know, coasting along pretty well, so uh, it's not like they're taking any chances and uh, you know, they do want to run him into some form, so better to see him out there. From half back, Daniel Metropolis up towards the wing. Off hands, it fell in front. Chance for Goodwin in real trouble eventually. Tries to get it across to Clark. Clark on all fours as well. Goodwin comes to assist him. And a whistle. Would like to have seen Michael Gardner punch from behind then. He was forward deep and trying to take a mark over the top. Speaking of marks, there's David Wirapunda, another mark. He's three or four good ones tonight. But, uh, you know, Michael Gardner's in that situation. Just needs to punch from behind. Bounce on the wing. Knocked down by McGregor. Shirley falling to the ground. Hand passes only as far as Braun. Knocks it back to Cousins. Releases Rintoul. Stepped into a tackle from Connell. As a result, the hand pass was wayward. Jarman's kick inside the 50. Welsh leads back in the race, but a push in the back. Well spotted by the umpire, who was in perfect position. Wirapunda comes away. Dashes away. Kicks it to half back and Braun. Wirapunda, a great story. A lot of people doubted whether it was a wise decision by the West Coast Eagles. It took a while to settle in, a while to make his mark, but he's certainly doing it now. One of the stars of the competition. White's got the ball on the wing, comes across to Braun. Braun breaks away, finished second in the best and fairest last season, lost on a count back. And here's the man of the moment, six to half time, Scott Cummings. The Coleman medalist back in form. Well, it ended up with Scott Cummings, but the Eagles had four possessions there where they weren't put under any pressure by the Adelaide players. And they really do have to start just getting that little bit tighter, Adelaide. Especially coming out now, they don't want to get the Eagles to start kicking away and really start, I suppose, ramming home their advantage. And just some tighter play all round. Scott Cummings having a fantastic night, though. Lining up for seven goals. We like him from here too, we're right behind it. Splits the middle. Can you tend to know how well the eggs are travelling based on Michael Braun when he starts to run forward as he did then. He got the possession earlier but then ran on to receive it back in through the middle. And really is an indication of the Eagles midfield players here. They want him to run and run forward through the lines. The Adelaide players don't want to come with him. And that just puts so much pressure on the Adelaide players' back line. So they really want some help from their midfielders at the moment. Scott Cummings, a far cry from the disenchanted man we saw a couple of weeks ago against the Sydney Swans. Back in the middle, knocked down by Gardner. McLeod, rode one bump, slapped it forward. Braun, hot one, down goes Cousins, pushed in the back, he'll get the free kick. 
Ben Cousins playing with a lot of energy tonight. Dangerous kick, but he should come out okay. Just making the rookie feel at home. Last got it to Morrison. Now Peter Matera, forward of the wing. He's been at one goal. His best effort against the Crows, five. Long probing kick. He's simply too strong. Scott Cummings. I was just going to say that, Dennis. Uh, ben Hart on the lead can probably keep up with Scotty Cummings. But probably man on man. It, uh, one of the full backs that I think Scotty would enjoy playing on because he does have that size advantage there. And he just bullocked him out of the way there, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He looked like Tony Lockett. <laughs> I don't know if you'd like that. Although, I think you it's would. not a bad comparison. I was just going to say <laughs> that. I, I just better, better back that one up. But well. the Eagles at the moment, it's just all one-way traffic. And again, Peter Matera found himself out wide. Having those sort of players, the midfield players of Cousins, Matera, Banfield, they're going to run free and have nobody putting pressure on them. They'll cut up any side. So Cummings going at number eight. You can tell by the roar he's got it. Well, Scotty Cummings is on record to, uh, on track to, to boot a record amount of goals for the West Coast Eagles. And his form in recent weeks, as we have mentioned, been up and down as opposed to that opening game against North Melbourne where he combined with Gehrig and Philip Matera to form an imposing forward line structure. Last couple of weeks has been in and out. Spent some time on the bench, whereas now... He's got it well and truly together. Now, okay, somebody get the record book out. I think Scotty's best is eight three times. And the record for the West Coast Eagles, I think it's 13 to Peter Sumich. As Gardner knocks it down, Cousins to Banfield. It kicks to half forward. And the mark is taken by McGregor. Paul Keir, no responsibility with those numbers, of course. McGregor from centre half back. High floating kick on the centre wicket area. Glass juggled attempt at the mark. Coming through is Clark. That's interesting. Ran into a dead end supply by Fraser Gehrig holding the ball. Well, the best way to tackle a player is to grab one of his hands because then he hasn't got two hands to get rid of the ball. If you happen to just grab him around the, uh, the waist and he's still got his hands free, he can still use it. But that was almost a perfect tackle by Fraser Gehrig. Shirley got it from Goodwin. Kicking it out wide. Vardy spoiled from behind by Reed. Braun everywhere at the moment. Ships it to White. Now this performance by Scott Cummings, the best by an eagle against the Crows. I think the previous best again from memory six, Peter Sumich. We're getting half the information here. Here's Philip Matera. 7-3, was it? Okay. Thank you. Scott Cummings. Yeah, right, of course. Glad it kicks another one. <laughs> well, it's just all going the Eagles' way, I'm afraid to say, for Adelaide supporters. Not too much resistance now coming from them, and the Eagles are really starting to well, they've already been on top for most of the night, but they're really starting to ram home their advantage. Michael Gardner, then, you would have thought that he was a rover the way he picked up that ball and just turned. And Nigel Smart's been moved up onto to Scott Cummings now. I mean, back onto Scott Cummings. But uh, Michael Gardner, very impressive. It's been good all night, actually, through the centre. Just quality football from the West Coast Eagles. Yes, Scott got seven the last time these sides met. Probably called that one, that's why I can't remember it. Bickley out of the centre, crashing in his Clark in the opposite direction, Matera. McGregor, McLeod. Now a throw is called against McGregor, so nothing going right for the Adelaide Crows. Just wondering whether it's w worth putting an extra man in defence, Dennis, to uh, just try and stop the, the ball coming down in the easy passage. Cummings out on the front again. Goes in that direction. Cleared him though. Falling over is Edwards. Spinning through is Cummings. Couldn't control it. Wise smile and the ball goes out of bounds. He's enjoying this. And they're really helping him out, his teammates. Mitchell White, Fraser Gehrig all went down to the huddle in the goal square and they all let out together. It was brilliant. Boundary throw in. Clark. Out of defence. Long time since their last goal, as you saw. McGregor was up. Tracks it towards the boundary line, pushed off the kick, gains about 20 metres. Jarman has it. Nicely done. Jarman kicks inside the attacking 50. Wren has not a kick yet. Connell crashes through but left the ball behind. Burton bounces off one, bounces into another. Socket off the ground by Rintour, back towards the wing. McGregor leads in the race, running out of space. Peter Matera tackles him. And the ball goes across the line. Boundary throw in. 
Uh, just huge amounts of pressure. There's the West Coast Eagles bench. Glenn Jakovic, I saw him at half-time. There doesn't seem any problem with him. He was running around, but I think you'll find Ken Judge will leave young Darren Glass on there and give him the match experience. Rintoul got it from Cousins inside the 50. Mitchell White's in front. Here's the voice from Braun. I think a wonderful term so far. Braun, the ability to stop, kick for space, and Philip Matera works off Edwards and takes a very clever mark. Good play there by Mitchell White. He uh, was on his left-hand side. He's normally a right-foot kicker, and although he can kick with his left, he saw Michael Braun just on his left, so it was good vision by White in the first place just to release the pressure. Braun then came back around onto his favourite side. And good play by both the players there. A lot of players tend to, to go onto their, uh, onto their non-favourite side. And you're much better coming back around where you feel comfortable and can use your skills a lot better. Just good use of the body by young Phil Matera too. And Matera kicks another one. Well, the Adelaide players must be scratching their heads at the moment. And when you're in this situation as a player, you, you actually really want the game to hurry up and finish, Dennis, because nothing seems to be going your way. And it's really just a matter of trying to protect the scoreboard at the moment and how much damage the Eagles can do to you or the side that you're playing. It's uh, really getting away from it at the moment. Have to be some big concerns from the Adelaide coaching staff. Well, a lot of people around the country predicting a Crows resurgence this season. Now a lot of people wondering why. Just noticed two of the Adelaide players are now starting from the half-back line at the centre bounce, so they, they have started to put a few extra players down back, but of course that leaves players like Morrison and them free on the half-back line for the Eagles. And he marked Bickley's kick. Unkind bounds out there for Cousins. Came to Jarman. Jarman kicks it around the boundary line and runs it out, gaining about 30 metres. There's high hopes held for Adelaide. Two premierships, then a down season. New coach, but the form has carried right on from the end of last year. String of losses to end the season. String of losses to start the season. Just under 13 minutes till three-quarter time. And the margin has blown right out to 77. Rusciuto to McLeod. Kicks inside the 50. Burton goes over the top. But we're a punter one it down. Glass. Well, almost a throw. Welsh has got it. Untidy hand pass. Sitting Rusciuto a task. He fell over. Turnbull goes in on top of him. Eventually they work it forward. This is McGregor inside the 50. And Burton runs onto it. He's marked about 35 metres out. Some indecision. Connell wants it short. But he's virtually alongside the man on the mark. On a worse angle. I think it was the right decision by Burton to hang on to it. And it was a little bit better play by the Adelaide players. They're a little bit more ferocious, a bit more aggressive towards the ball. And that's what you've got to tend to be. The harder you go in, the more chance you are of winning the possession. And so far tonight, they've probably been a little bit on their back foot, allowing the Eagles to sort of come through. So they just need to assert themselves. Metropolis. There's a man who's done a fair bit of asserting. Peter Matera, well-weighted kick, well-taken mark. Philip Reid juggling it on the way down behind quality opposition. It's got runners. And they played well this season. They played very well, the West Coast Eagles. Here's Braun again, launching one inside the 50. Down towards the excitement machine, and he's done it again. Well, just off the ball, Dennis, there's a bit of an altercation with Darren Jarman and Philip Reid. Since Jarman's playing his 200th, and wouldn't be the way to go to get reported on your 200th. But up the other end, all the excitement is with, as you said, Scotty Cummings, and isn't he having a night out? Nigel Smart there. The best way for a, for a defender he's behind is actually try and hit the, uh, the player's arms, take his arms away from the ball, rather than trying to punch that in case he gets a strong grip on it. If you whack his arms, chances are that he won't take the mark. It's a big man, Scotty Cummings. Pretty strong. And let's see if he can put through another one. Well, I think the crowd says that all. Nine. Well, one way, the Adelaide went forward and kicked a point. The Eagles come back the other way and they kick a goal. And just the run of the Eagles players, Braun there from the outside wing. Every time the Eagles seem to look up, they've got players spare. A look back at this video will probably reveal just a lack of chasing and manning up by the Adelaide players. Well, 
Well, just no redeeming features now for the Crows. It's a route, 18 5 4 7. The Eagles showing they can go high when it comes to scoring this season a couple of times now. Cousins, great pressure, Cousins, deserves a goal. 35 metres out, one for the highlight reel. Well, Dennis is starting to become like a broken record. Time and time again, the Eagles are just going forward and are just annihilating the Adelaide players at the moment. And there just doesn't seem to be any stopping. Yeah, Bickley tries to force his way through, but he's just got no backup from his players. And Cousins, who came tearing out of the, the centre with an easy possession, just good pressure from the Eagles players. Now, this is a powerhouse performance from the West Coast Eagles. Cousins, 21 possessions now. Braun, 20. Those runners just dominating. High bounce. Both Ruckman missed it. It could be a free to Gardner. I think Clark was over his shoulder, and that's the way the umpire sees it. On the way down, both of them mistiming their leap. Clark was second up. Gardner first down, and the man was draped over him. Fraser Geary. Too easy. Talking about all these Eagles runners, Dennis, perhaps uh, Costa, who uh, sometimes plays on a wing, but can be used as a tagging and run-on player. Could be used to... Uh, Come on and line up in one of those Eagles runners. Fraser Gehrig fancies himself from here, gives it a ride to the land about five metres short. Turnbull was up, had plenty of company off hands and across the line. Also, Shane Allen sitting on the bench, he's a backline player. Rusciuto, it's in the cloud. Left half back, kicks it up towards the wing. That's a clever kick too. Hart drops the mark, goes again. Taken high, was it? Play goes on. He's holding the ball now. Well, it's unfortunate for Hart to put the ball down, but the Eagles had two players under one there. It was given away at 50 now. Everything is just going against the Adelaide players. But when you get more numbers around there, Dennis, that's what the whole idea is. Get as many numbers there. You had Cousins there. And then you had Gehrig there, and no support from any of the Adelaide players. No. Bit of a late effort there by Jarman, but, you know, you can't be expected to do it all on your own. And that loose arm from the tackler didn't hit the shoulder either, so no free kick there. Mark just going to ground, and as a result, Fraser Gehrig could punish the Crows. It's bending back, the shape of that one. Nice little hook, but not quickly enough. Behind. Empire's having a bit of a chat to... Uh, Nigel Smart and Scott Cummings down there at full forward. Scotty was just pointing out the score moments ago to <laughs> Nigel. Nigel's best defence would be to find the tape of the Sydney Swans game two weeks ago. There goes the kick towards the outer side. In from the side. Great mark is taken by Stevens, who really started close. sluggishly. He's close to playing on there too. Little chip pass. McLeod, he's on the wing. And the crowd now quite rapturous as the ball comes down towards half or Braun bounces off glass, tackled by Burton. Still they go towards the boundary. Like a maul, that one, and we'll have a boundary throw in. And all the noise is for Chris Lewis, uh, Dennis. He's about to come onto the ground, the veteran, in his second game back, and very, very popular player at the West Coast Eagles. Shane Allen running onto the ground, thought it was for him. He's wrapped. <laughs> well, there you go. Lynch Allen was sitting on the bench. Now he's coming on to take up his position on Fraser Gerrigan. Hart's gone off. He's had a bit of a dreadful night for Ben Hart. Usually puts in a good performance. But uh, they need to just start using their bench a bit and throwing their players around because it's not going to harm at the moment, Dennis. All right. That was a bounce and not a boundary throw, and the umpire whistled it up before that wrestling pair went across the line, but eventually we got our boundary throw in. Vardy trips the line fantastic, feeds it back to Burton, 75 metres out from goal. Can the Crows get a goal here? Big run at the ball from Welsh. Held a Banfield across to Morrison. Away come the West Coast Eagles again. Rintoul's got it. Half back. Feeds the hand pass across. Metropolis back to Rintoul. Rintoul drives it up towards half forward. Philip Matera. He's marked about 80 metres from goal. Puts it into the path of the lead coming up the ground from Peter. Showing great courage and getting back down there with Stevens to chop it off initially. Peter Matera though, twisting, turning. That was across the line. So Lewis is denied his first touch. Well, he touched it, but it didn't result in a hand pass or a kick. 
He's not happy to give it up, but he gave it up to the boundary umpire. There's the time remaining and the margin. Percentage job, this one for the West Coast Eagles as Clark hooks it down behind Cousins to Fletcher. Fletcher pulls it back. <laughs> right spot, right time, Scott Cummings lining up now for double figures. Well, Cummings all night is let out. You'd really think that you try and place a person, an extra player in front of him because he's just had too much space to run into. And here's another example here. You've got the... Uh, couple of feet in front of Smart and as I said it's too hard once you once you got a couple of feet on as a full forward the full back to come around or over the top and Adelaide are just just nothing's going right for him. It's got it coming setting out after Peter Sumich's all-time record as he gets number 10. Well I remember the night Peter Sumich kicked 13 goals against Footscray here at the Wacker Ground and it's definitely not out of Scotty Cummings' reach tonight. Ten goals is a fantastic haul. For uh, 12 kicks and one handball. So he's had 11 marks and that uh, just goes to show he's led up the ground all night. The Eagles have brought the ball down very nice and quick. He's had open spaces to lead into. And a good return for Scott Cummings. And not, so much time remains. Not, Nigel Smart's been moved off now. I'll uh, try and find out who the player is back on Scott Cummings. Ken McGregor. Thanks, Barrett. Nigel's not happy because he feels embarrassed. Not so much by the fact that his man has got all those goals, but he's been seen to be moved as the ball comes out from Lewis, his first kick for the Eagles this season. In a long time, in effect, and the ball goes across the line. Well, that's not quite right. Dennis, <laughs> I just Played noticed a few minutes. the one Adelaide player running to the bound. He had two Eagles players chasing. David Wirrapun, who was 50 metres away, he's left his man to come up and give him extra help to have three on one. And that sort of tells you the story of when a side's got confidence and they're, 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 you know, they're just full of run, those sort of things happen. Back in their job. Breaking away. It's a probing kick. Cummings almost. Banfield hit the pack hard. Snaps. And misses. So just with David Burapunda in this situation when things are going right, right, you can you can take a few uh, chances like that. There's the Eagles' biggest margin against Adelaide, 135 points, 1995. Ooh. If you're watching in Adelaide, you've got to put something in the cocoa. <laughs> Here's Allen, hard against the boundary line. Just talking about Chris Lewis. That was his first kick in front of his home crowd for quite some time. As Rashudo hooks it around the outer side. McLeod, did he keep it in? Yes, he did. Sock is it off the ground to his own advantage, but Fletcher cuts off the angle. Was held without it, no free. Braun back to Fletcher. Little chip pass up towards the wing and Turnbull. Turnbull. Cousins, Cousins now. Released into space, Ben Cousins. Oh, pass. Oh, well, it's textbook. They're putting on a clinic, and Cummings will go at 11. Well, the Adelaide players there, Andrew McLeod was trying to do it all on his own. He was looking for some support from his teammates. And unfortunately, it wasn't coming. And as has been the case tonight, the Eagles players have been out in the open. And Bez and Cousins put in an electrifying pass to Scotty Cummings, who... Having more than a night out. So Scotty, six to half time, going at number 11 here. This is well and truly a career best. His previous best, 8 2 against Carlton, round 10 in 1999, last season. And he's got it. Well, He'll remember this game for a long time. And just everything going right. And now it's time for the Adelaide players just to try and reduce the amount that they're going to lose by. 135 points to the margin. 135 points being the biggest margin. And we're up to 103 points now, Dennis. We're still a quarter and a bit to go. <laughs> I feel like Malcolm McKerris on election night here. These figures rolling in, surrounded by them. As Clark goes up, knocks it down. 
Taken by Reed, hooks it down towards half forward. Over the top comes Ellen, eyes on the footy, well played. Thumped it down, but only as far as Fletcher, who comes in short and finds Mitchell White. Now the Adelaide coaching staff is just down in front of us to our left. It is looking very grim down there. It's just happening in front of their eyes and they're helpless. They can't do anything about this now. It's long gone, but it's getting very embarrassing. Mitchell White from right on the 50, tugs it left, across the line down there, not yet, Gehrig claiming a mark, claiming he was taken high, nothing doing, across the line eventually, a behind. There's a play, Dennis, when a side's playing this well, you, you really just, you're at a loggerhead or a loss to really know what you can do because everything just seems to go the way and the decisions you make always seem to be the wrong decisions. The last time this would have happened to you would have been at the Gabba. Right oh, at the end of your yes, career. Which was my last game. And uh, you just can't do anything at all. Let's have a look at this, uh, what Fraser Gehrig was talking about. Well, Nigel Smart certainly did have his hand around his neck. He looked a free kick. Clark down to Rashudo, still burrowing in, still trying hard. Burton and Cousins close to the boundary line. Back to Braun. Interesting hand pass. Cousins lost it. Burton slapped it away. Turnbull creates a path. Brilliantly done, big fellow. Braun gets the hand pass away. Coming through nicely is Welsh. Welsh from the wing. Sends the Crows forward. Down towards their attacking 50. Wren miscued. Glass headed the ball away. Picked up by Bickley. Into the glass tackle. Trying to crash his way through as Robron. Feeds a hand pass to Welsh. Welsh who initiated things. Kicks in an oncoming eagle. Glass goes after the footy. Falling to the ground. Got it to Lewis. The hand pass was half smothered, socket off the ground by Rintoul up towards the wing coming through on the burst is Goodwin got a good shepherd too, he's forward at the wing now kicks inside the 50 Wren set himself but there's not much loop there I've got to say and the ball's knocked across the boundary line and Dan, the Eagles are doing all of this without Glenn Jakovic, who's resting, and Peter Matera. They've rested Peter Matera halfway through this quarter, so a really prodigious effort right, Wren that's better Kick not great, but at least he's getting into the action. Yeah, it'd be interesting to uh, to know the, uh, the mental side of Sean Wren after three knee constructions, Dennis, having had only the one. You're always very uh, mindful that it could go again, and imagine after three times, your confidence wouldn't be too sky high about jumping up and exposing it on its own. Uh, and you just get the feeling we as consumers have been cheated because just what a great player he was. Hopefully he reaches those heights again, but... We've been denied some wonderful football. Kick That's comes in mark. and finds the wrong man. That's Rashido as far as the Eagles are concerned. Strong mark it was. Rashido sets it up. Taylor made for Rurapunda coming across on the angle and he thumps it to the boundary line. Mark Rashido, he's really tried his heart out all night. 20 odd possessions so far and one with the captain Mark Bickley. Just haven't had enough support from their teammates. Rurapunda. Lost it. Welsh grabs it. Kicks it right across the face. Out of bounds on the full in the opposite pocket. Scott Welsh is another one who I thought started off pretty well, especially in the first quarter or so. Daniel Metropolis has done reasonably well to hold him in the latter part of the game. McIntosh driving it around the outer side. Clark should mark it, and he does, opposed to Williams. Back in the side because of the injury to McKenna. We've got to say, despite his wonderful form, has not been missed. Jarman, game number 200, will not be a happy memory. I'll contest about 20 metres out. Too easy for the defender. Metropolis just reaches over the top, punches it down to Reed, gets it across to Braun. Braun goes out wide, intended for Lewis. The crowd willing him on, but the ball runs off. Well, it's been a fairly dominant quarter by the Eagles. 67 disposals to the Crows, 38. And when you have around 30 odd possessions more than the opposition, it certainly obviously shows on the scoreboard and it has this quarter. Burton in the grasp, went to ground, crashing through Welsh, Braun, falling to the ground, Morrison kicks it towards midfield, down in front an opportunity for Banfield, taken front on by McLeod, Lewis, 
Hits it down towards half forward. Running back is Ellen. Awkward bounce there. Went back over his shoulder. Picked up by Edwards. Spins out of trouble. No confidence now with the Crows. And they must do something from here. That's a bit of kick. And Burton takes a good mark. Braun couldn't quite get him. As a result, Burton's away. Kicks from 55. Robert trying to reach over the top of the rookie. Last battles with him. Coming through Wirrapunda. Well, even when he doesn't know the ball is running for him, it does. Socket off the ground by Morrison out towards the boundary. It goes on a curl around the line, but eventually across. And Ben Hart's about to come on, Dennis, for the uh, for the Crows, and it's amazing confidence. So who would think that Ben Hart would play the way he's playing tonight? The season hasn't been great so far. Best and fairest in a runaway victory last season. Bickley across to Allen. Allen 60 metres out. Long kick at goal. Knocked down by Metropolis. Still he goes Metropolis. Coming through is Braun. Missed Welsh. Metropolis with poise then. Kicks it towards the outer side but directly to Burton. So the poise was there initially but not with a kick. He comes across to Rusciuto. Well, Rusciuto continues to battle on. His 22nd possession coming up. He's so got Bickley on the 50 metre line on his own but... Uh... Rashido's normally a good kick. I don't know if this is a bit too far out for him. Better option would have been giving it to his captain. If he joined us late, it's very one-sided, this one. The margin 103, the Eagles' way. And Scott Cummings has booted 11. This is Shirley pulling it back towards the kickoff line. Robber in the forward, hoist to spoil. But coming through is Jarman, runs into an open goal, and finally... Well, it's been a long time between drinks for not only Jarman, but for the Adelaide players. But that was a very good goal by Jarman, who read the play exceptionally well. Rusciuto, who well, probably went off his boot, not the best, but uh, we'll have a look at this in a minute. Pop it up, and when the ball is punched down, he is running flat out, centre and front. Used his strength to get through a couple of players and got an easy goal. I suppose that's the interest in this game now, getting the margin below 100. Both the Ruckman miss it. Rusciuto, tackled by Fletcher. Fletcher did well, knocked it onto his own advantage, gathered it cleanly, kicks inside the 50. Cummings with 11, looking for a dozen. Banfield runs away from Cummings, though, gets it to Williams, and Williams kicks a goal. Well, talk about a quick response from Wesco. Just have a look at the faces of the Adelaide Crows players there. Their heads are bowed, their arms are right, their hands are on their hips and they are just one ragged bunch at the moment. They really don't know what they can do. As soon as they get a goal, the Eagles respond and as a player you just feel helpless in this situation. Andrew Williams always looks so good on his left foot. 22-9 to 5-8. <laughs> so it's back over 100 now. <laughs> Up goes Clark, knocks it down. Cousin spins out of trouble. Rintoul. That centre wicket area is very hard. Fletcher taken front on. Bickley spins out, was taken high. And it will come back to the skipper. Mark Bickley. It was a bit more aggressive from the Adelaide players for there. Two or three of them. Uh, the player who uh, fronted up to uh, Philip Reid. And they ended up with the ball. That's what they Bick need to keep doing. Bickley finds Burton almost a mark. Yeah. Robron taken front on by Glass. Wrestled to the ground. I would imagine from Glass's perspective, this is a good way to make you to do in a game such as this. You know the pressure's off when you go out on the ground. It's not a question of the result. It's just personal performance. Matthew Clark's just back right off. He's gone out on the wing to stand back on his own. So he seems to be loose at the moment. Turnbull has done very well. Wins this one down. Burton, in the last five minutes. Bickley gets it across to Rusciuto, deserving of a goal for effort, if nothing else. Up in front, Welsh. Support on from Vardy. Vardy goes into an open goal. And even there, not total conviction, but he's got it. Well, Adelaide, that's uh, a little bit better. A couple of goals in a few minutes, and it'll be starting to make him only slightly better. Certainly won't get him back into the game, but at least with some bit of a fight there. Daniel Metropolis found himself two on one, and really that's what they needed to be doing all night. That's just a matter of having players run and wanting to be there. 
Barty brought in as an opportunist goal kicker and he's managed to get two tonight. One forty one plays forty four, dying seconds, third term at the WACA ground. Saturday night football, Rashido to Bickley. As the siren sounds on a brilliant turn from the West Coast Eagles. Scott Cummings kicked five goals in the quarter. And the crowd, many of them on their feet, acknowledging this performance by the home team. Strong, so very strong. The margin 53 at half time, so yeah, it's really galloped ahead now. And Gary Ayres, what can he do from here? Became a senior coach back in 1995, and that year Geelong won four of their opening five games. Well, not the case with his introduction for the Adelaide Crows. He's looking down the barrel now of four straight losses. This is really going to dent their percentage, so it's going to be a long climb back. Many people predicting a good year for the Crows. It doesn't look good right now. 141 to 44. feel some sympathy for Gary Ayres talking to his troops. What do you say other than I'm not enjoying this job right now? I, uh, I spent a fair bit of time watching Gary Ayres and he, he certainly wasn't going off his head or anything. I suppose he probably would have just been saying to his players, look, it's been a terrible night. You know you put in a terrible performance, but at least try to work yourself partly back into this game and we, we start looking for next week, but let's go in with something that we can draw out of this last quarter because uh, other than that, uh, there hasn't been a lot to draw on tonight. I remember when I was coaching, actually, in a similar situation, I did say to the players, I don't think we can win from here. <laughs> and a couple of the committee men were incensed. <laughs> Is that right? You admitted defeat. <laughs> so so early in have... the game, they thought. <laughs> yeah, they should have been playing those committee men, I said to them afterwards. <laughs> you come out and give it a crack. But it's still a... And I did, Change the coach. I did know that uh, Gary is talking to Darren Jarman a bit. So I don't know whether he's saying, look, uh, we need just to man up a little bit better or finish off your 200th game. Up goes Gardner. Clark. Oh, it's cunning. He stole it down to Rusciuto. Kicks inside the 50. It bounces about 30 metres from goal. Glass finished up with it. McIntosh knocked it down to him. Peter Matera. Turnbull. It's been valuable. Kicks it towards the outer side, and the mark is taken by Gardner. So the two big men running together. The Eagles gambling during the offseason, trading both Ball and Fuster, taking a punt on Turnbull, and Turnbull so far this season delivering. Gardner kicking it down towards half forward. Well, two crows interfered with each other, and Fraser Gehrig hardly had to leave the ground. A lack of talk there, Dennis. So Geary kicks from 60. Has it got the carry? Yes, it has. Playing his 100th. Well, a night to remember on your milestone for Fraser Geary. 100 games and a lovely kick from 60. But uh, when you're playing your milestones, you, you do look back on them and hopefully they are fond memories. And just the Adelaide players there are looking around and just lack of concentration. One should have only been up in the first place. So, a dream start to the Eagles in the first quarter. Let's hope the Adelaide players can just keep a lid on it. And it takes a while to walk up from the ground, does it not? The coaching staff just got up in time to see that goal. I think for a minute they thought they were watching the giant screen. As Cousins comes away, it wasn't a replay. It was just another one on the total. Rintoul taken by Smart, charged down by Philip Matera. Ricochets across towards Fraser Gehrig. Got an unkind bounce. So too Braun. Burton shows a lot of courage to go after that one. Diving, ties it up. Bounce just inside the 50 for the Eagles. We've talked a lot about how the Adelaide players were feeling. If you're part of the Eagles now in this situation, you can back your judgment. You can take a few chances, and you really just uh, want to get out there and have fun and, and get a few kicks and be part of the uh, the whole affair. Rashido kicks it up towards the wing. Awkward bounce there for Hart. Still Hart in front of Williams. Hart draws a crowd. Gets away from Braun. Well done. Kept his head. Feeds it back towards the middle. This is Bickley. Bickley charging down towards centre half foot. Kicks it well inside the 50. Welsh up in front. Metropolis favoured by the bounce. That sort of night. Packs it out of midair. It goes outside the 50 briefly. Shirley's got it. Lewis. Well played by the veteran. Wirapunda on the overlap, tips it up towards the wing. Cousins Peter Matera. Inside. Cousins with the middle. Peter Matera kicks it down towards half foot. Cousins can still run on. 
Well spotted Chris. Well, it should have gone to him. Still could go to him. White doesn't do that. He comes to the middle. Fraser Gehrig takes the mark. Well, Mitchell White knows best. Uh, it is the right decision to come back into the middle. Mind you, uh, Fraser Gehrig had three or four on him. Ben Cousins has ran from the wing to try and get a position then. Both times he was on, never got the ball. But uh, everything going the Eagles' way. Nigel Smart just playing a little bit too far off Fraser Gehrig. And on a night when things are going well, as we said, this man can either have a fantastic night or a shocker. It seems that everything's going to go his way. Even the kick's not a good one. Denison's going to go through. Oh, no, it's hit the post. Well, we, we haven't had one tonight, so... Eagles can't believe their bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Fraser Geary hits the post halfway up. But hope has long since left the building. Rashuda going for distance and why not towards the outer side a lot of pushing and shoving Clark knocks at Goldwood Stevens over the ball scrambles a kick about 10 meters he looks underdone and uncomfortable at the moment Stevens a and little the, limp up and the Eagles down have rested all their injured players or guys carrying injuries Drew Banfield's on the bench Ashley McIntosh and Fletcher and Jakovic add that to McKenna and Peter Matera that had a rest so it's been a big night Sikalela got it from Bickley High kick, fisted away by Turnbull. Roving the pack is Jarman. Bounces down towards the goal square. Going back after it is Wurrapunda. Stops it. Goes around goes around the goal. And taps it across the glass. He takes it across the line. Now, would have he done that situation if it was a close game, Dennis? I dare well, say not. <laughs> he would have done something else and probably the opposition would have got a goal. Yeah. So, we'll just take a look at this, David. We're putting now he sort of hides. Taps it back in... <laughs> So you normally wouldn't do that in a tight situation. Jarman's got it. He fires back. And normally, in a tight situation, he wouldn't put it there. Just sneaking it in for a behind. A bit disappointed with himself. Only a very accurate kick on goals, Darren Jarman. If you're going to ask somebody to take a, a goal after the siren on the Adelaide side, I'd probably choose him before anyone else. Metropolis. Short to glass. He's fitted right in. Yep. Uh, not to As you said, yeah, it's probably the perfect night for him to make his debut. Cousins, confronted there by Jarman, kept his head. Braun, glasses away again. Up through half back to the centre square. And that's a beautiful finish. Lovely kick. Winfield didn't have to break stride. He's got the ball forward of the centre. Chips it out wide to Peter Matera. Question of accuracy. Peter Matera going at his third. And he steers it through. Well, one well done by Young Glass, but whoever was playing on Peter Matera then, if, uh, if I was the coach, I would take him off because he was free during the centre when Glass had the ball. Remember, we might not see this on the on the screen. I don't think we will, but through the centre, just maybe... Yeah, uh, we can see Peter Matera, was, he was on his own in the centre square. He's ran down and then received it on the half-forward line, again on his own, and that is just bad marking. Uh, correction, correction. Peter Matera's got two. Philip Matera's got two. But nobody's betting against both of them. Finishing with three at least. Bickley spins out of trouble. Gets the hand pass away. Hart. Sikalela kicks inside the 50. Great courage. We're upon the going back. Knocked it down to his own advantage. Silky skills as he kicks it towards the outer side. Shirley comes over the top of Lewis and knocks it away. And that was so, so good. Because given the scoreboard now, some players wouldn't put themselves in that situation. We're upon the going back with the flight of the ball. Didn't cross his mind not to go back. He's not the world's biggest man. He's very, uh, very, very small in stature, but he's... Uh... Got a huge heart. Sikalella, that was clever. Edwards in trouble. Eccles scrambles it inside the 50. Turnbull trying to spike it to the boundary. Jarman instinctively hooks it back towards goal. Welsh takes a clever mark and thought about going. Mm. Claimed immediately by Metropolis, so it didn't. Well, Scotty Welsh started off well in the uh, opening parts of the game. I thought he was, had the better of Daniel Metropolis, but Daniel Metropolis just closed up tight. Really similar to what the, uh, the Adelaide players should have done all night on their men. Let's have a look at this. Is it through? Yes, it is. So, a nice goal for Scotty Walsh, but uh, it's 
been a hard, long night for the Adelaide players. And they're resting David Weir from the morning. And you can hear the applause. Yeah, hasn't done much wrong, has he? It's been a fantastic season for him, David Weir Punda. Drew Banfield coming back on to replace him. Standing ovation. Yes, David Weir Punda off the ground. It looked like a standing O from here, Barra. It's a definite standing ovation, Dan. When you think about it, he would have collected a few Brownlow votes to this stage of the season. Real eye catcher as Bickley comes out of the centre, and there's a courageous mark. Reed running back with a flight of it. They're just really backing their judgment now. Certainly can't lose from here. And it's a time that when you just uh, just run with the ball and run with the flow of the game, and things just seem to go your way. Cousins, Burton, a contest with Glass. The hand pass came from Shirley, but eventually it finishes up with Glass to Gardner, who runs away. Hand pass, well that's interesting, down towards Harford, gathered by Gehrig, who somehow got out of there, but weight of numbers tells the story, and Smart, if nothing else, relished that tackle. Yeah, he ran, he ran it, he turned into that one is probably the best way of putting it, Dennis, but good pressure from the Adelaide players, that's what we saw, we saw numbers from the Adelaide players, let's just take a look, one, two, three, four, Smart came again, that's what they needed to be doing all night. You would think after you've beaten the first four, you'd be free. <laughs> there goes the kick from Smart. Great mark, Robran. Haven't seen a wicked area. Haven't seen a lot of him tonight, have we? No, very quiet. Kicks inside the 50. Welsh, despairing lunge at it. This is Vardy. Arches the back, slips away, and pops the ball to Jarman. That's better. One thing I did admire just moments ago when they got a goal, just trying to think who got it, it was Welsh on the line. Robin, the only player to go across and at least make the effort to congratulate him. Very tough in this situation. If you're having a down to yourself, the team is getting thrashed. But he made the effort. And I thought that was a good sign. And that's in contrast to when they got the first goal of the game, Dennis, that the fact that most of the players in the forward line, they ran, they ran across. And, you know, you've got to learn to do everything no matter what the situation is. Jarman gets his third goal. You know, when things start to be going difficult out on the field, you've still got to maintain, you've still got to keep the policy and keep doing the things that even if you're, if you're 10 goals up or you're 10 goals behind, and that's the difference. When, you know, sides slowly start to get behind, they stop doing the things that they should. And those little things certainly do all that up. When it's been a bad night, you just want some help out there and you just want to know that you're doing OK. So... Well, in this case, approaching OK. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Jarman, 20 possessions, three goals. It's a good return for his, uh, for his efforts, really, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't diminish his performance, of course. 200 games. It's just that it's a disappointing night tonight. Down in his direction again, off hands. This is Eccles. Throws it on the boot. Tries to bend it back. Doesn't do it sufficiently. Behind. Seems almost funny that Darren Jarman's had 20 possessions and three goals. He's probably in, in most games a, a return like that, even though he can get up in high possessions, it, it'd be a a lot more dominant. Yep. But then when you you know you've got so many of the Eagles players running around getting so many kicks, it's just probably his performance has been shadowed a little bit. Metropolis jabs it towards the boundary, taken by Braun, like his game. Cousins, brilliant. A hand pass though, no good. Taken by Hart under pressure. Scrambles it forward. Untidy game now coming through Metropolis to Glass. That's better. Morrison breaking away around the outer side. Fumbles. Stops. Vardy went the wrong way. Back to Reed. Reed forward of half back then. High kick towards the wing. Losing it in flight was Jones. Coming through in the opposite direction, Stevens. And he tumbles to the ground and the ball goes out of bounds. 154 plays 59. Just over 12 minutes till full time in this one. And they rested Sean Renden and uh, he doesn't look too happy, the big fella. Well, we saw that Barrett. Sicalella gets the hand pass away to Shirley. The two youngsters combine. This is Edwards. Around the outer side, he's had a bounce. Tyson Edwards kicks inside the 50. Here comes Welsh in from the side. Turnbull got it on the ground. Burton overran it. Picked up by Metropolis. Heard the voice supplied by Matera. Reed did nicely. Back to Matera. Matera, the hand pass out wide. Lewis to Matera. Inside the centre square to Williams. Williams shins it towards the outer side. That right foot. Tracking it towards the line is Clark. He takes it across. Boundary throw in. I think the boys were just racking up a few possessions there through the centre of the ground there, Dennis. Just toying with the opposition. And 
crowd of 26,037 here tonight have witnessed a very good performance by the West Coast Eagles, reminiscent of their first round performance against North Melbourne. I think they're off the statometer as Bickley gets a hand pass to Goodwin. Coming through the centre, Sicalella, nicely done, little arching of the back there, and he kicks inside the 50, Morrison launched himself, how about the recovery, that was cat-like, on his feet, but he was bowled over, fell off the fence, here's Barty, Barty fires and kicks a goal from 30, his third. Well, not a lot's gone wrong with the Eagles, but I must say, Chad Morrison, if you're going to fly from behind, you must take the mark, otherwise, punch. Now, if you have another look at this situation, you know, he probably wasn't in the right position to try and take a mark, but if he didn't get it, then you should be punching from behind. And in a close game, you'd be finding yourself sitting on a bench. Well, it was a long night. But those things go unnoticed, I suppose, when you're that far in front. 24-10 plays 9-11. Thinking higher scores now for the Eagles in recent times too. As Gardner goes up, knocks it down. Cousins smothered off the boot. Bouncing around like a pinball machine in there. It came off a boot taken by Gardner who was run down by Edwards. Shirley gets a hand pass away. This is Goodwin. Goodwin kicks it towards the outer side wing. Hart was up. Over the top came Williams. They locked Robran down. The only man left standing was Turnbull. He sends play back towards the half forward line. Gardner too tall for McLeod. Hit the ground running. Feeds the hand pass over the top. White. Another bouncing hand pass. It was okay though. Rintoul. He snaps. Point, I think. Touched. Yep. Good call. Well, the, uh, the Adelaide's probably really dominated this quarter. They've actually fought back. Got themselves with a couple of goals. They seem to be a little bit more aggressive. They've got some players who are uh, putting their body a bit on the line. Tyson Edwards there. His run down of, uh, of Gardner was very good. Yeah. So... At least there's some fighting spirit in there. I admire your optimism, but I think the city's gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to give something to cheer him up, Dennis. Cousins. Hasn't been a good night for him. Drops the mark. Matera over the top. Back to the man who kicked it in. That's Braun on his knees. It is very untidy at the moment. None of these hand passes from the Eagles finding the mark. Always anxious when you start flirting with your form like this. Well, they just seem to be taking their foot off the pedal just yep. a little bit, and uh, it's often been a bit of a trade of the Eagles to, uh, to do that when they get too far in front. They should, you know, rather than just keep ramming home the advantage so that the next time they pop up, uh, and it's in the back of the opposition's mind. Anfield under pressure. It skews off the outside of the boot and bounces out of bounds. He was tireless early when it counted. Dan, I'll tell you why the Crows may be going a bit better. I heard Gary Ayers at three-quarter time say, I'm going to find out this quarter who's having a go and who's not, mm -hmm. and there may be long-term ramifications. So. Mm. Gathered by Burton. High towards the wing. It bounces towards glass. And that's generally been the case. Well, you make your own luck. Hand pass from Williams, not good. Coming through his heart. Kicks inside the 50. Going back down there as Morrison was being held. No free. Morrison goes after it. Barty comes through. Turnbull deflects it across to Reed. Reed from centre half back through the centre. Gardner tiptoeing up the ground. Very hard in there. Takes the mark. It's been quite nimble in this last quarter. He's been getting around the ground a fair bit. Exciting player. Look at the pass to Scotty Cummings. The forgotten man in this turn. <laughs> Haven't seen him. <laughs> I'll show you, he says. This will be number 12. But uh, Michael Gardner, he's covered some ground. He's taken some marks. His disposal's been very good. And... Money, he'd get a bit nervous here, Scotty Cummings, wouldn't he? He'd know, he'd know that the record is 13 at the Eagles. He wouldn't know, would he? <laughs> Are you kidding, are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're kidding. Uh, not everyone's like you, though. Right? No, he would definitely know. You're exactly right, Adrian. Now, now the, the pressure's more on for him to, to try and track that record down. Well... So, Summer's probably moved around behind the western goal and is letting him know, you know. It's... It, He's well, got it. You can tell by the crowd. That's 12. Yes. 12 for him, 13 the record, and the Eagles players just having a bit of a chat. And Michael Gardner, who sometimes is kicking can let him down, spared the pass in. And he's by far had the better of the ruck duels tonight in both Clark and Wren, because Wren being rested, which 
you know, he hasn't played much of the year. I probably would have just kept running Wren for the night, Dennis, and given him some match time. Uh, what about Merv, the trainer? He knows where to go. <laughs> he knew where the cameras would be, eh? Takes a drink out after 12. There's Edwards. Look at that, Dennis. Two Eagles players in there tackling. Just weight of numbers all the time. Get as many numbers to the contest as possible. Working gangs. Eight and a half minutes to go. Robin knocks it down. He gives the fumble. Clean possession to Cousins. Drives it forward from the wing. Down towards half forward. Being held was Mitchell White. Again, the umpire calls play on. Oh, thought Matera. Quicksilver. He's away. Here comes his third. Storming towards goal. And he's missed. Oh. And he's missed and Scotty was on. I was just going to say that and his mate would be sitting in the goal square. I must ask him after the game what he thought about when Philip Matera was running in, whether he thought he was going to get a handball over the top. But Mark Rusciuto, that was very slack. You're a lot bigger and stronger than what Philip Matera is. You should never have let him go. But Scotty Cummings was definitely on there. He should have went over the top to him. There's McLeod. All eyes on that western end of the ground. Robin couldn't complete the mark. It's coming in again. Banfield got it to Lewis around the corner. Robin's in the road. Comes away from half back and kicks towards the outer side wing. Well, Smart drops the mark. Recovers. Looping hand pass. Bickley running down towards left half forward. Mark Bickley pops it up. Man on the lead takes the strong diving mark. That's Clark and immediately cramps up. Well, that was better. They had some options there. They moved the ball quickly. And they also had two or three players at a time running down. So uh, they really did uh, turn it over. And some of the Eagles players. Mitchell White coming off the ground. That were a penalty coming back on. Mitchell White walking off the ground. Walked for about 50 metres. So he's definitely hurt a leg muscle somewhere there. I'll find out for you. Thanks, Barrett. And David were a be pretty happy coming back on because I'm sure he'll enjoy walking off the ground, getting a ovation with the rest of the players at the end of this game. He's wrapped mainly because he's gone to the forward line. Might join in the uh, goal barrage. Feast. So Metropolis to kick it in. Seven and a half minutes to go. This is like Dempsey and Tunney. It's the long count. It's going for a long time this game. <laughs> a lot of scoring. Morrison short to Cousins. How many possessions now for Cousins? This is his 30th. Across the ground. Turnbull the target. Banfield. Lewis. Morrison. Could have gone back to Lewis. Instead, goes out wide. Braun leads back in the race. Got his man under the ball. Michael Braun has had a wonderful night. Coming on the lead is Cummings. But he was pushed in the back almost. Nothing doing. He dropped the mark, certainly. Philip Matera. Hand passes out wide. McLeod. Rusciuto. Bearing down is Philip Matera, but not in time. Rusciuto uses it well. This is Eccles. Runs forward of the wing, kicks inside the 50. Welsh comes out and takes a very good mark. Excellent mark. He's really played a lone hand down forward as Scott Welsh. So two or three for the night, Dennis. Two. Two. So we've been their only true avenue into the forward line. And just a tough night all round. And as a You'd be just be waiting for the siren to go so you can get in and have your shower and get back to the team hotel and sleep on it. Welsh's kick looks pretty good. It's a goal. And one player's ran up to him and patted him on the back and now Ben Hart and Darren Jarrett. That's good. It's good to see even in this situation the Adelaide players are still getting across there because it has been a tough night for them. And rather than just, you know, not still getting over and doing the team team things, because that's what it is in this situation. You really want the team to be in there helping out everybody. 328 disposals last week to the Crows, only 251 tonight. Any news on Mitchell White down there, Barra? Just still check, checking it, Den. Doesn't look too good. Mm. One down by Gardner. Cousins again, knocking up, getting possessions, and that's an intelligent hand pass back to Gehrig. Gehrig concedes a little more back to Morrison. He'll chip it back to Cousins, who initiated things. Cousins from the wing, pinpoints it beautifully. Rintoul is at left half forward, told to play on. Gets the kick off under pressure from Bickley, close to the line. We're a Punda. He knew exactly where he was and had to stretch back. 
and marked it just inside the boundary line. Let's see if he can get himself a goal now. He's had a go at everything else. Oh, hit the post. Flush. So, really it's just a matter of seeing out the game now. Eagles players have been very, very dominant. And David Wurrupunda's had a fantastic night. Played a big part in setting the Eagles up. Watching the replay at the moment as Rintoul kicks it in. And Wurrupunda takes the mark. Meantime, the ball has come out to Nigel Smart. He's at right half back. Margin 90 points. Up on the wing, Hart couldn't complete the mark, goes on to tackle Jones. Bickley feeds it wide to Eccles. Eccles kicks it up towards half forward. In front down there was Vardy. Knocked away from him. Coming through is Jones, in trouble. Glass at his feet, couldn't pick it up. Eventually it spills wide. Peter Matera will do something. Well, he'll cough it up. He goes straight to Costa. The hand pass from Goodwin comes across to Rusciuto. Rusciuto kicks inside the 50. Coming back was Morrison. Knocked out of there by Turnbull. Good use of the body by Eccles. Cleared a path for himself. Stevens gets a hand pass across to Hart. Hart goes down towards full forward. Some jostling. Welsh leads back in the race. Deep in the pocket. Welsh pulls it across his body. Going at number four. Behind. Just over four minutes. Still full time in this one. Be very long four minutes for the Adelaide players, and they've done very well though in the last quarter. They've certainly fought it out. They haven't allowed the Eagles to dominate. And a couple of the players of the, if they've what Barrow was saying that the future was perhaps on the line is what Gary Ayres was saying. A few of them have bobbed up in this quarter. Shirley from 50 threw it on the boot. Get under that. Rintoul was up, tried to complete the mark, couldn't. Metropolis dragged down, Morrison grabs it. Hammers one towards the pocket, this is Williams. And Williams pops it around the corner, Philip Matera takes it low down. Matera out wide to Fraser Gehrig, who gets to it. A pretty good night for his 100th game, Fraser Gehrig. Kicks it up towards the wing. Banfield jostled, it came back to him though, releases Cousins, storming forward of the wing. Where's Cummings on the end of it? Dropped it. Still he goes, was taken high. The umpire on the wrong side of it. No, no one saw it. <laughs> the man in midfield came charging up. Obviously a Cummings fan. <laughs> so almost sound like you're disappointed he dropped the marker in the first place, Dennis. Well, I was thinking he'd have no one to blame but himself. <laughs> How much better does it get than oh. that one? There's the high tackle. Now, in the foreground, you can see umpire Matthew Norton spotting it. I don't think Chris Mitchell was going to pay it. He was on the other side and slightly behind the leading Cummings. So can Scotty Cummings equal the record? And I would imagine the all-time record would be 13 here at the, the Wacker ground. So a crowd of 26,000 will be waiting on their feet. And you can imagine the eruption if it goes through. He definitely knows too. <laughs> and he'll be the big shortener in the Coleman medal betting. No, no worries <laughs> about that. It's a be on me next start run. From right oh, on 50. Oh. He's missed. Well wide of the mark and helped across by Robran. But at least it's in the vicinity, Scotty. Get down there. I'm not quite sure he said I'll have a water then to the drinks man. He'd be still pretty happy. Still time, though, to get that lucky 13. Gardner hooks it down behind. Shirley going nowhere. Lewis dragged him down. Gardner again overran the ball. Down goes Jones. McLeod spins out of trouble to Smart. Smart gets the kick away. Brilliantly picked up by Connell, who decides to run it out. Two and a half minutes to go as Connell kicks it up towards the wing. And the Eagles will bring it back through Banfield. His 25th possession, his best performance this season, his previous best in round two was 23. Gardner takes the mark in front of Cummings. Scotty should have been here. Where has got it, runs into an open goal and kicks it. Well, that was very good team play by Michael Gardner to get it over to David Ruapunda. He really was in a position to have a shot, but he saw two of his teammates free, both Philip Matsira and David Ruapunda. 
and Matty Connell then just didn't have anybody to kick to. There was no one leading up, and perhaps he should have just put it along the ground and found the boundary line. And Scotty Cummings did very well. They got in between his man and Michael Gardner just to give Gardner a very easy mark. How much time left for Scotty Cummings to get another goal? Oh, still over two minutes. Oh, time. Yep. Philip Matera now is seeing himself a little run there, so uh, Ken Judge is throwing Philip Matera in the middle. Eagles need another eight points for their best effort against the Adelaide Crows in their history. Storming through the centre. Banfield inspired by that news, runs to 50. Long kick down towards full forward. There is no Scotty down there. Where a punter kicks another goal. Well it, started, well, it started in the centre, but great team play by Ben Cousins down there. I don't know if we're going to get to see a bit of a replay, but how quickly did the Eagles get this out of the centre? That goal must have come within 10 seconds. Drew Bamford, he actually, Scotty Cummings led up tough. Just have a look at this. Ben Cousins just got in between Rashudo and David Wurrapunda. And he's a very happy boy, young David Wurrapunda. So he should be. He's had a fantastic night. But just the teamwork of the Eagles has been first class tonight. i got to tell you, Barra, this is better than a best of Clive Waterhouse video. 27-13 <laughs> to 10-13. <laughs> We've got some news for you, Dan, too. Mitchell White's gone into the rooms and they're saying it's a calf strain. Umpires are getting tired, not surprisingly. They can't bounce it anymore. Ball comes down towards Harford. Cost has got it. Terrible hand pass. Philip Matera's got it. Cummings is backing back, but the kick is wide of the mark. Scotty is there on the line, and the umpire, the goal umpire, Hang says on. it was a mark. Well, he appeared to be across the line, but being the consummate team player, he comes back to the middle and finds Philip Matera. No, the umpire's not allowing him to do that, Dennis. He's caught time on, says Cummings has to go back and take this shot. <laughs> so He knew that all the time. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. The drama. It's a couple of excited people in the background there, for in the background, don't know what for. So, yeah, Mark Rusciuto's taken up position to make sure that Cummings can't come around. And Cummings is looking for one of his teammates. We already saw that he wanted to pass off to Fulmatier in the first place. Do the old sorts, check side. All sorts of records riding on this kick, runs around, goes with the check side. Scott Cummings has got 13. Well, the Eagles fans would have been coming tonight not really knowing what was going to be produced by the West Coast Eagles. One win, one loss, and one draw. And they have been treated to an absolute exhibition of football along with Scott Cummings kicking a record, or equaling Dennis Oakes, Peter Simic's record, and a record amount against the Adelaide Crows. Record score for the West Coast Eagles then against the Crows, as Chris was saying, and equaling the record of 13 goals kicked by Peter Sumic against Footscray, and still time to go one better. Here's Costa with other ideas. Rob Run, oh, knocked down by play. Lewis, brilliantly done. Philip Matera's got it. He's Cummings looking. is free in front. Oh! Oh. Well, this has been a clinic. It's almost like a training clinic and the Adelaide coaching staff must be wondering what can they do. I don't think there's anything they can do, Dennis. Well, look, at the play by, oh, sorry, look at the play by Chris Lewis then. His reflexes were just dynamite. They should have recruited him from Port Adelaide for a start. <laughs> marks in this quarter. This is the Eagles after Scotty Cummings took that one. It's 27 marks to the Crows' eight. Call it into history, Den. Yes, to match his number, Barra. <laughs> oh. Scott Cummings going at number 14. The best ever by an eagle. Well, that really is a fantastic effort. 14 goals by anybody in any AFL game is really an outstanding effort. And so the crowd should be happy and be honouring a great performance. Brought over by the West Coast Eagles to fill the gap. That we probably haven't had since, the, the Eagles haven't had since Peter Sumic. And now he's overtaken the man with his record of 14 goals here at the Wacker tonight. 
Everybody standing, well, almost everybody. Peter Simic is probably sitting. Remembering it was 13-10 that night, he missed about 10 to the right. He hooked them, thinking, oh, if only I'd kick straight. Jones is over the ball. Hart hooks it around the corner. Here's a chance. Bickley falling to the ground. Jones has got it again. Dying seconds and wait for the roar. There's the siren. Well, I guess you've got to say it had to be all about records and talk of records tonight because it was never a contest. It was dead by half time. Well and truly dead. And there's one of the reasons why. Shades of Tyson v McNeely, 114 points the margin, 187 to 73. They led at every change in the story of the night in the record book. Scott Cummings with 14 goals.